drunk Tom Brady? No way. Yeah! No way. Tommy, baby! Fuck yeah! No <laughs> way. Are you ready for this? It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. Your boy Feidelberg's not even considering sitting in a chair right nah. now. Ready to fucking rock. I'm going to have to take my sweatshirt off at some point. I want, can't believe you haven't already. You I must be sweating. want to get ahead of that. I only have a tank top on today because I have to go. Hey. To <laughs> take it off. <laughs> and take it off. We got to go do the whoop challenge after this. And I just I just came right here just for this. Johnny's going to be rocking the, the tank office. top. You got to go to the KC Radio YouTube right now. If you're listening, stop and go to the go to the YouTube to watch the video so you can see Johnny's going to be wearing a tank top <laughs> soon enough. Because before we even started... Your boy, your boy recorded a fucking music video, a Miley Cyrus music video. He was standing up on the chair, just fucking rocking. I was, I honestly, there were a couple of points where I was like, "Ooh, I hit the beat there." <laughs> <laughs> like it is. I assure you, you didn't. <laughs> it is. It's I'm happy a- you felt that way, but I promise you, <laughs> it's like a found penny when a white person hits a beat. Like got one, <laughs> drop in the fucking ocean. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a full blown. You know, th- this this room at times can be, uh, I mean, last, week, uh, last episode was dark. Last, last episode we recorded in a fucking morgue, you know? Last episode I think I tried to commit suicide like five times. John, last episode <laughs> I, I described in detail about a three minute video of a double homicide and it was like the fifth darkest thing on the show. <laughs> I said let ri- life rape you, okay? <laughs> I mean, last week, last episode was pitch black dark. And so we needed to switch up the vibe. We started out with a little Miley Cyrus singing, a little dancing. Although it was funny because John was standing on our studio chair and the way the camera looked, it cut off like his head and then you couldn't see that he was standing on the chair, so long story short, it looked like he just hung himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, it finally happened. <laughs> yep, we're yin here. and yang, everything in balance, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, the yin and the yang is apropos because as John was was uh, you know doing karaoke basically and filming this music video, uh, he 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 said he looked down and said, "You either get Tigger or Eeyore. I'm no in between. There's nothing in between. I'm either Tigger or Eeyore at all times." And and we got Tigger today, so. The wonderful yeah. thing about Tiggers is you're the only one. I think we got Tigger for a little while. I'm gonna for a little while. while. We've had Eeyore for quite some time. I didn't know we not, were I didn't know we were in the midst of an Eeyore spell. I usually know. We were I didn't think you were because I thought no guest January was fucking like hilarious. I thought we were firing on all cylinders. We've been heavy Eeyore for like a month. At really? one to three months where it's been it's been well, heavy. Well, wait a minute, that's a big Eeyore. difference. One to three? It's been one of those things where it started slow, and then okay. like the last month has been. Because I was gonna say, if it's been the, the one last month, month, we've been fucking Danny DeVito, <laughs> like Danny DeVito, always sunny, just like the news wouldn't work. Like it's been the. I just thought uh, the one month would make sense as you were trying not to drink and torturing yourself like a goddamn idiot. No, it's been, it, but I think that was like a okay, we need to make a change thing, and then it just got worse. Mm-hmm. Um, but the uh, you're out of it now, though. You know what? I I didn't think it was. I, I didn't think there was anything. Wrong. I thought the episodes were great and everything was fine. But then, you know what it is? I thought you were firing on all cylinders. And what I what, what I've just learned from the Tigger Tigger experience here is that there's just another cylinder. <laughs> there's a whole other cylinder that we can add to it's, fire on. It's yeah. I, it's my fucking tail. I bounce around on it. It's it was the. I'm trying to think how to like explain this. All right. I'm just gonna do it this way. We'll do a quick little mental health minute. I hate doing this. I think it's become a Twitter meme kind of deal where like everyone's like, hey, mental, mental health. health. And, yeah. and I prefer to be just the sad clown that you can either yeah. laugh at because like, I don't know. I don't take advice from me on like how to Definitely deal with mental health. I clearly us. haven't figured it out. Don't right. take advice from me on mental health, physics, how to apply a horseshoe. Like none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> it's, those are just things. <laughs> those are just things I don't know about. So I like to sit here and be an example of like, what it's like to be bad, but I will give just a quick little uh, piece of advice and it's not advice. No one's ever heard, but it's just, just say something like Monday. I, I told Kevin, yeah, yeah. I was like, everything you just, you just said it and got off your chest. I was like, I just like, I'm sorry. I don't know what I said. I was like, I'm like, I think I just asked you, I'm like, am I bad? Cause cause I am bad. And it was like a month of the, the hard month 
was like me, like I just, I just didn't think I had it anymore. I was like, I suck at this. This, I, and like people have said that to me forever, but I've never doubted it. And for like a month, people I was have like, said what? That you lost it? No, 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 just like like oh, you suck. I hate you, fight over oh, like that. Well, like yeah, and like yeah, that. Yeah. But no one, it's not even no one ever said that to me. That I'm sure they have, but I didn't see it in the yeah. last month. Yeah, it was just me being like, I can't do. Like I'm, I just don't have it anymore. And it was like I was just super, super, super fucking depressed, and. Like, I couldn't even look you in the eye. Like, if you look back, or, I don't know if you look back, but, like, I was, like, looking at your forehead. I was looking at your really? beard. Really? Jeez. Because I was, like, in my head, I sucked. And if I looked you in the eye, the eyes were telling me what I already knew. And they were just, like, you fucking suck. Like, I was, like, Kevin's miserable doing this with me. Like, he must hate this. And You it, really are crazy. <laughs> it was. Yeah, you know in uh, in uh, The Patriot when... Uh, <laughs> Whatever his name is, there's, there's a weekly Patriot reference. <laughs> well, I forget his name, but when when oh Ben uh, Benjamin fucking uh, Miller, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Martin, Benjamin Martin. Martin. Okay, and he comes in when he has General Cornwallis's notebook, and he's like, "I've just been inside the mind of a genius." Everyone, you're about to be inside the mind of a psychopath. And it was, I was just like, yeah. I, I hated myself because I could see like inside of your head and it was reflecting back to me and I couldn't obviously but it was like I was like Kevin just is miserable can't wait to like end this fucking show I'm dragging here and I like I meanwhile even... I'm like <laughs> January was awesome I thought that was like our funniest episodes I thought we were... I was like so anxious I was like I was I was last ep- Monday was the like tipping point where I was like I was like, trying to rip my own fingers off because I was like I just want to get the fuck out of here so I stopped ruining this and it was and I told you after the episode and you were like it was actually like you were so dismissive of it. Like, what are you fucking talking? Like, yeah, like you, there like, you was, even there's, there's the not an, even a shred of truth to any of this. Where I was like, like sometimes like, if you say something and it's like, oh yeah, like that's going on, but like uh, I'll downplay it. But this, I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I gotta go. I got shit to do. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was like that. And I was yeah. like, all right, so maybe I am being crazy. But then like Definitely. even Monday night, I was like sitting on my couch like alone in the dark, and I was like, it might be time to call somebody. Not like a fucking. It wasn't like a fucking that bad of a thing. Like, like a, it wasn't a suicide yeah. hotline, but yeah. it was like, maybe it's time to call a therapist and we'll schedule an emergency appointment for tomorrow. Yeah. And I was like, I'll call her tomorrow morning. And I woke up yesterday morning and just felt like a million fucking bucks. Yeah. Like, I, I'd been taking medicine at night to help me sleep and I think that part of it where I was like, I'd like every morning I'd wake up and it was just like battling through a fog forever. Yeah. And I was like, it was the almost like, yeah. I think I compared it to you, like it's like being in the woods like in like a fucking Cuban fucking cartel movie where they're like just like slashing through with a machete yeah trying to get and through like, that like just trying to fog, find like yeah. one second of peace to focus on a conversation or try and make a joke and I just couldn't fucking do it and then Tuesday morning I woke up and I felt like a million bucks and Tuesday to, afternoon Tuesday afternoon I felt like clubhouse Tuesday afternoon I felt like dogecoin and then <laughs> to the fucking moon and then before bed last night I was like I actually stayed up really late Probably on account of the lack of sleep medicine I have now, <laughs> um, and but then also like I was like scared. I was like, if I go to bed, and, like what if this? What if it ends? What if I yeah, wake up? you want to ride that high? And I woke up at seven o'clock this morning, like a kid on Christmas. Like I woke my girlfriend. Yeah. I was like, hey, 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 I'm happy again. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, another I'll twenty-four. Keep I get to do another twenty-four. Let's do it. Seven a.m. Do leave me alone. And uh, glad you're happy. I'm not now because yeah. you woke me up at seven a.m. Dick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's it. Just fucking tell. Like, and honestly, it's not even like a therapist. Like. I don't know. I I am still not very good at therapy because Ugh, I just kill mine. I just treat it like like a like like a like a hooker I bought, and I'm like, well, no shit, you're telling me, I'm yeah, fucking sex. yeah, like, I yeah. fucking pay you to, yeah, and uh, and so it's like, but just like telling the person where you think you're disappointing. I was I thought I was I was like I, I was like convinced. Kevin was like, I can't do the show with him anymore. He sucks so fucking bad. He's so wacky. <laughs> but like, that's was, where that's where it really is. Like you know, uh, you're fucking crazy. But that, that's where it is. Like your brain will just play tricks on you or, or convince you of things that are just not fucking right. Once true. you think it's happening, like you, everything is just, it's a, a, a confirmation bias where you're like, ah, yes. I can yeah. see his eyes right. telling me. Like he, he fucking knows it too. Like, Absolutely. I'm just like, I'm an anchor here now. It's like when we talk about like, uh, we always reference that, that, Thing with Jordan Peele, where they like all the people studying his films were convinced that there was like symbolism, right? Because right, right, they're right. looking for those things, and he was like, "No, no, no that's true. It's just this <laughs> fucking made the bushes purple or whatever." You know? <laughs> um, yeah, man. I, I mean, there was there was zero truth to that. I actually feel like a, a bad that I was. I probably was dismissive of it because it was just like, I don't know, this is not real. <laughs> but 
But then the uh, dismissiveness actually made it even easier. I was like, okay, right. Like right. if you like laid it on thick and been like, you're doing, you're doing great. great. I'd be like, yeah. he's fucking lying to me. Right. I knew it. Right. That's probably what I would do if it was like a problem and I didn't know what to say. But there was no problem, so <laughs> it was just like, there's no problem. <laughs> the the clubhouse we did yesterday or Tuesday on uh on ATI or the ATI we did in the clubhouse was uh that was some of the most fun I've had, basically podcasting because that's what clubhouse is. In a long time. That was fucking fun. And I think everybody, like, to a man and woman who was in there listening or participating said the same thing. Like, everybody, ba- I walked by Bailey. He was like, Whoop! that clubhouse <laughs> was something. Clubhouse right now is, like, all venture capitalists and, like, Silicon Valley and people talking about, like, technology. And then we came along and we were like, well, if, you know, I was having a threesome with Ryan Reynolds, like, whose dick would be where? And, like, all this <laughs> wild shit. Um, but in that, that was the one. That I felt good yesterday morning. And then that was, what like, really, like, Maybe be like, oh, because this is one of those things too, right? You just think like, you're like maybe I just like I don't know. This is just how I feel. Like, or like yeah. you, can, you you get so lost in it that you forget how different you are, yeah, or at least different you feel, right? And it was like I think like ten minutes into the the clubhouse, I'd made myself laugh ten times. Yeah, I haven't made, made myself genuinely laugh in at least a month and a half. Yeah, like, you, I, I you, faked there it. was like I said, there wasn't. I thought I thought everything was funny in in January, but then. In that clubhouse, I was like, oh, you know, he's having like, he's having a day. He's having a, like a good game, if yeah. you will, you know, where, and then you said, you, you uh, I don't even remember what the reference was, but you said, I think you were talking about being scrappy doo in the corner jerking off or something. No, I was scrappy doo. I was eating a fucking raw steak and just trying to, that's how I eat a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because we were talking. So on the clubhouse, we were talking about I just got a the, fucking vulva. Pull <laughs> we were talking about the different looks and... <laughs> and appearances of vaginas and John made a scrappy do reference that was really apropos and I was like someone oh, actually sent us one. like a gif of it it's like yeah. exactly what I meant <laughs> just like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's when I and, and then you brought that up afterwards cause like yeah, and you know you know in this shit in this job um, it used to be more when you write a blog but now when you like say a line or a joke on a podcast uh, you know when like you hit it, and and when you're out of that fog and you're hitting it, it's like if it feels different. It's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what it's supposed to be. This like. is yeah, yeah. This is how I. This is actually me. This right. Isn't the, right. And it's probably like it's a million different things, but I'm sure it's like pandemic shit where like it is. I remember what the first start of the pandemic. We we're like this is easy. Fuck it. Yeah, and then yeah, you go on three hundred days in a row. Like yeah. we, we were locked in for two weeks. We're like fuck it, just sit in. This is great. It. I can handle it. Yeah. Three hundred days in a row. I'm sure everyone's kind of feeling it. So just fucking tell somebody. Tell the person that you think you're affecting how yeah, you feel. You were, I mean, it will, it'll help. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect, but it will help immensely. And if you need uh, help otherwise beyond that, you need some uh, supplements or medicines or whatever, you got a company like Roman to get your back. Roman is uh, a one-stop shop for men's health that can get you uh, everything from prescription strength medicines down to uh, items, little little the swipes or the vitamins or lotions, uh, anything for your hygiene, for your health, for your mental health, your physical health. Um, and we've been talking a lot about the the Roman swipes to make you last longer once you put it in, but you gotta be able to put it in, <laughs> and sometimes that can take a little more, uh, a little more, you know. Uh, Something a little more official, like, and that's where they come through with their ED medicine. Better than a thumb, they say. The thumb is the thumb is what <laughs> I had been using for a long time. Me and the, all the way back to the cavemen, we've been thumbing it in for a long time. And Roman's got the wheel now, yeah. baby. <laughs> they invented the wheel. Uh, man, the thumb, the thumb is tried and true, but when when you know, there's nothing worse than when you get in. <laughs> when you're like at like seventy five percent, yeah, Johnny tank tops out. <laughs> Subscribe on the YouTube, you get more look. Uh, this is way West more comfortable. Mass. I love it. <laughs> There's nothing worse than when you're at like seventy five percent and you get in. You want me to scratch? Oh, this guy's so big, you I'm, can't even scratch his back. <laughs> I'm sweating. I know, like, I'm, you're not. You can't touch me because I'm too fucking. <laughs> Definitely not moist. that. Fuck that. You know when you get it in. But then, but then, but then you're like, wet. you can't. I don't see. You can't see it. No, but it's just sticky. Yeah, yeah. gross. <laughs> I'm like a kid who just got back from fucking lunch. Like just, just from like, lunch. Yeah, you went out to recess. Came in. Oh, he's oh got, okay. Like, got it. Roll up. I thought you were talking about being like so mm. fat. You sweat when you eat. <laughs> well, not too. Yeah, not too. When you when you get it in, and then you like, but then it's like you can't. 
if this comes out, there's no way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm in there right now, but uh, like it's not going to last. You know what I mean? But that, also, it is the best when you get it in, and it's like a phoenix just rising, rising from the ashes. Rising from the vagina yes. juice. It's like, <laughs> it's like, guess who? You might be a little bit too much back. Let's get you a little more depressed, okay? Let's get you a little more Eeyore. You're, you're, you're too much Tigger. Vagina juice. <laughs> I mean, vagina juice is hardly the most disgusting thing. That's yeah. that's a medical term, Kevin. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. I don't know if doctors yeah. are like, how's your vagina juice, lady? <laughs> Get a gynecologist on the horn. They'll tell you. <laughs> They've studied vagina juice their whole lives. <laughs> well, I don't so, disrespect their profession and their work. <laughs> the, the, what Roman's doing, they've got the ED medicine, and they're doing it for Valentine's Day because V-Day is a big... It's a big night. It's a lot of pressure on Valentine's Day because, you know, it's stupid, but, you know, you're supposed to have some sort of, like, special sex on Valentine's Day, you know? And it's like, guess what? It's going to be the same, you know? I mean, I haven't had special sex since my parents conceived me. <laughs> like, just, like, what is special? I've never had special sex Well, in my you know, on life. Valentine's Day, like, you know, the girl might go get some, some lingerie, Maybe you're gonna do some anal. Maybe you're gonna do some play with some toys. You're gonna do some things that you know you don't usually do. But then that's like it's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. I saw what was I seeing? I saw something. Oh, do you know the uh, horrible decisions girls? They're on mm -hmm. uh, Vice. Maybe it's kind of like a caller daddy type of thing. Uh, these two girls are just talking about fucking, and they put together a box um, that had like lube and this and that all these things for like girls for their vagina juice and whatever you know yeah. and one of them was a uh, a butt plug and i saw like a girl commenting on the instagram being like i've used everything in the box except for the butt plug i'm saving that for my wedding night and the girl wrote back like oh i don't know about that because it's like your wedding night is even obviously more important than valentine's day if you put if like the big day you're gonna do something wildly different and potentially you know catastrophic if you don't do it right i don't think that's a good idea yeah it's like tommy getting a, a spray tan for surviving bars <laughs> You know, it's like, he was like, it's a big night. I'm going to change my skin color. That's always a dangerous game to it's play. It's a rest versus you... rust thing. And I've yeah. always been firmly on the team of rust. rust. Like, yes. I, like, I'd rather just keep playing. Right. I don't, right. I don't want this and, to be. And, and just, you know, especially with sex is like, how, how funny is sex in the sense that sex and golf? I've said this all the time. Sex and golf are two things that the average guy, or maybe girl, but I'll speak from the guy's point of view, think for some reason they're going to be a professional level performer, you know? Like a guy hops on the golf course and he shanks it into the woods and it's like, fuck, what do I mean? Why am I not like par? Why am I not shooting par? It's like, yeah, like the best in the world struggle to be, you know, like one under. You're going to be like 10 over, of course, you know? 100 over. Right. I was saying like, speaking for like the whole, like 10, oh, you know, like hmm. you're going to, it's going to, you know, par four, you're putting up 12 because that's, you know, it's like nobody steps on a basketball court and is like, I'm going to go dunk. No one expects <laughs> well, to throw no, the ball. Well, no, I disagree with that. Every time I've stepped on the basketball court, I've been like, this might be the time. <laughs> <laughs> is that well, not that what is... everyone does? You don't run to the hoop right away and be like, mm, nope, still barely getting that. Well, I can't even, you know, I guess the last time I even did that was about 10 years ago. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I'll always... uh See if I, but no, because I never, I, if I could once have done it, maybe I could capture it again, but I never did it. I just think maybe like, maybe I got a good night of sleep last night. This Today's the day I got those bunnies. <laughs> today's the day. I dunked on once, I like my peak, I dunked on like, it was like nine and like a half. Like it was up there. And, uh, or like nine and change, maybe nine and a half. It was one of those ones you can crank, so it was kind of like, uh, but, um, as my therapist calls me. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Um, but that was my peak, and so I never, I never, uh, I never could. I never, so I never really think I'm going to recapture it. But, but you know, you know, you don't think you can throw a fucking football sixty yards. You don't expect to be able to do uh, everything the pros can do. But golf, people expect to be like really good. And sex is like you. What you think you're going to be able to fuck like you see in porn? Like, absolutely not. You're like a schlub. You're a fucking. You can't. You can't pick that girl up and like throw her against the wall. You can't fuck for that long or as hard. But you think that you're gonna for some reason. You know. Well, you can't with Roman. Well, that's the difference. So Roman comes in and gives you the uh, extra uh, supplements, medicine, and confidence you need so that if you do want to make Valentine's Day a big night, make sure you got Roman to help you. Because if you try to, you know, you bite off more than you can chew, you, you write a check that your ass can't cash on Valentine's Day, well, now it goes from being a special night to, like, 
Well, you couldn't even give me the regular thing. You know I mean? <laughs> so go to getroman.com slash KFC and you can get those swipes to help you last longer in bed, whether it's a regular day of sex, whether it's Valentine's Day with a big night. Uh, no matter what, you want to last as long as you can. So go to getroman.com slash KFC and get that first month of swipes for just five bucks. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, you get your mental right and and things, uh, everything else falls into place. I think, unfortunately for us, one of the things that stands in our way of the mental health uh, is social media. Yeah, that particularly was, uh, the bird, particularly Twitter. My mom taught me that the other day. Yeah, well, she thought she taught me. She's like, "Did you know that that social media is something that hurts mental health?" <laughs> I've I've heard mom. Hey, yeah, ma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you have you heard that uh, cigarettes can cause cancer? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's the direct cause. <laughs> I really, I've said this before, and I truly believe it. I think that we will look back one day, scientists and 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 scholars will be like, "Can you believe?" They used to be on like Twitter and shit for like twenty hours a day. Like, of course that generation is fucked. Yeah. The same way that like we used to smoke cigarettes and get cancer and like drink during pregnancy and all these <laughs> things that are like, holy shit. I think there's two things. I think we'll say, can you believe that everybody used to just be able to drive cars? They were allowed yeah, to operate the vehicles. One. And can you believe that people uh spent their time talking to like hundreds, if not thousands of people arguing about politics and and even the harmless shit. Like when when Twitter went full blown political, it, it, was, it was terrible. Mm. But I th- even, do you think we're we're re- at the dawn of a new day with that? You think? I think we're in a new day, a dawn of a new day. Yes, I don't know how new, how different it will be. I think there's, I think there's already been a shift. Yeah, like there, already, there's, there's Trump, been a Trump being shift. off of it. Shift. The end, like the election already having happened, been happened. Like even that, like like as we record this, like an impeachment hearing is happening. And like even I that, even, I didn't even really know that. Not so even yeah, like that. Like, yeah, it's yeah. on the trending thing, stuff like that. But if you just look at your timeline, I, yeah. I follow a few media people, uh, like news media people, and they're talking about it. But it's not something that's yeah taking over my timeline. I think between like the COVID, uh, really the vaccine Bucks is out, parade. and it's kind of, what mostly the Bucks parade. The Bucks parade? Yeah, the Buccaneers have. Oh, the, the I was thinking yeah, yeah. for some reason the fucking mm-hmm. Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, that's fair. It's their name. Yeah, <laughs> my, my, my brain wasn't too far off. Um, I think the you know the vaccine is here for COVID, so like we just got to kind of wait and see. Uh, the election happened. Trump's gone. Um, there hasn't you know, police haven't killed anybody recently. <laughs> there hasn't been like a fucking terrible tragedy. Um, you know, what kind of got brushed under was those FBI agents getting killed though. I don't yeah, exactly. I haven't yeah. even heard of this. Like a week ago, like five, five, like five FBI agents got killed, and they did not get their like proper due. No, shout uh, out again, to those guys. Uh, R.I.P. And, I'm and sorry. I believe I only saw like a headline at one point. Um, I think they were like raiding somebody who like was like that did had like crimes against kids. So like a real bad guy, and it was like a shootout. Was was it, yeah, John Wick pedophile. It was kind of fuck kills five FBI agents right. and diddles children. Right. I was like, that's <laughs> what I mean. This whole story was like, what the fuck? So, but aside someone, from someone that, someone killed five highly trained I, professionals. I think he was five, right? Dressed Can, as fucking is anybody, the guy from Blues. Is Clues? anybody pulling that up over there? Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that guy got a bad rap. That guy gets a bad yeah, rap. Yeah, Blues Clues guy is not a pedophile. Right. Right. He just cut his hair. He just dresses like one. Yes. So like it's a fair and, and well, oh no, let me comment there. Actually, let me rephrase. Blues Clues guy has not yet been found <laughs> to be a pedophile because, as we know, everybody who works with children, at, that's a single adult, particularly male, working with children. There's something going on. He's, you know, he's gonna. It's, it's a problem. Appear out of the woods and want to have a catch with your son one day. <laughs> but, but the story that we Man, all I forgot about that was that in true? January. See, I'm talking. I was real fogged up. I don't even remember telling that story. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Maybe it was at your expense because I was like, John should have been raped as a kid. That's where I thought. But it was funny. <laughs> yeah, that's my brand. <laughs> um. So anyway, Twitter has been, I think, a little bit better. You know, I mean, even like a lot of QAnon people, I think, were like, fuck, we were wrong. Yeah. Like a good chunk of them probably probably retired from being QAnon. Um, that was funny, like the day after the inauguration. Oh, that right? was the best. I was just like, wait, what? The <laughs> amount of people who realized quick, you know? And then it the, wasn't. There's still plenty who have Right. There's still like, plenty who are, who are like grasping onto the, the, the face swap thing. But there are plenty of people who were. Face swap thing is one of my favorite things like ever. <laughs> um, 
That like that might be the stupidest moment in like human history that like people thought that was actually happening. It's because you know me, I can get into the conspiracy shit. It's, I, it's second to the time I tried to put a horseshoe on, <laughs> bro. That was I meant to like circle back to that. I don't know where in the depths of your brain that that became a reference, and I, but the thought I just had this thought in my head, and it's a fictional one. It better be a fictional one, but I just had this vision of just one single solitary KFC radio listener who for some reason thought you would be knowledgeable about horseshoes <laughs> who's like listening right now and he's like fuck are you kidding is me is that a glass shatter this moment this kid doesn't <laughs> even know I thought he was the horseshoe guy like if you found out you know you found out that like I wasn't really a Mets fan or something and it was all a lie there's some guy being like I've been telling my friends John is a horseshoe expert what the fuck man <laughs> so disappointed um so Twitter can is better, but ultimately, I, I, the reason I say like sometimes even like you know like politics Twitter is like the worst, but even like I'm arguing about like sports sometimes and I feel like it's escalating. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I, I'm like I was arguing about Brady and people are just being like you know like you fucking cheated on your wife. And I'm just <laughs> like God damn it! I just want to talk about fucking sports. You know? Um, so it's a terrible place, and I would love to get off of it. Can't though, but because of this uh, PFT Darren Ravel argument mm -hmm. potential fight, I started to think about it. So PFT and Darren Ravel are going back and forth. Rough and Rowdy's in the air. Jose Canseco just made a million dollars. And I, I did Darren start this with that tweet, or was there already some back and forth going? Uh, I think it was. I think PFT might have joking said on the podcast or something like that. I I, I got. It. I'm not going to. So Darren Ravel it. tweeted. I'll fight PFT commenter at Rough and Rowdy for $2 million. Uh, which, you know, what's so scary, and my, I, I use the word scary about Rough and Rowdy. Other people probably think it's awesome and an opportunity. But, like, Rough and Rowdy makes things possible. Mm -hmm. You know, anything is possible! Mm -hmm. Where it's like, we, we are now a big enough company with enough resources and popularity that, like, th th those two could fight, and they'll that they would make enough money to... They would they would blow the Conseco out of the water. Oh yeah, because I mean, already it was, was it was an old washed up guy who like you know people on the internet know, but really doesn't have much of an internet presence. I don't think. right. He had that one stretch ten years ago where mm -hmm. he was hot in Twitter and and versus mm -hmm. Billy, who was you know Billy's in the mix with PMT, but he's not PFT. So right. like you, know, you got two of two. I, I honestly I hate him. I love him. You got to call him one of the most like popular people on the internet mm -hmm. on the internet or, or known you know like recognizable. So um, two million dollars is possible. But PFT came back over the top with a counter offer with basically the internet version of an I quit match. He said, I win, you gotta delete your Twitter. Now, Darren, I mean, almost I wanna say in his defense, he can't do that. That would be like, I mean, that'd be like for me, like giving like you have to delete your podcast or something like that. It's just like But it's, it's his lifeblood. Like, the stipulation isn't you can't start another podcast. True. If but you have to get rid of your what's you have two million followers by something like that? You get rid of your two million followers. I don't think Darren would get many of those back. I don't think so either. You know, so I think he's <laughs> like there are some people grandfathered in. It takes a lot to like unfollow someone. Um, I think you know if he were to do it now, like he got in early. He's smart. I mean, I, I hate that he became a weasel because there was a time where both you and I, I think agreed. Or I remember being like, I like Darren Rebell's Twitter account. Like I think it's kind of interesting and quirky. And I didn't I, like I, when he added anything personal about it. Yeah, but I yeah. liked his like weird little. Friends. Right. I've I've had to unfollow him because I just cannot yeah, stand. Yeah. I agree. I mean, anymore. once I had my thing with him too, I, you know, I I, I don't like the guy. Um, I, I I and I don't I don't even like internet dislike him. Where it's like, oh, you're annoying Rebell. Like I genuinely do not like him as a person. So then PFT said, you can get you can take the money if you win. If I win, all you got to do is delete your account. Can you make that bigger again? So um, he then came back and said, I have no doubt I will beat you. I mean, that's just like, see, see, this is why I fucking hate him. That's just not realistic. PFT played like fucking professional rugby. rugby. Yeah. He's going to kick PFT your fucking ass, fucking you little dork. Run your shit. Now, I will also say, if there is any potential this really happening, that's the fight game and that's the promotion. You know, right. if he's going into like the Don King mode, you got to say that I have no doubt I'll beat you. Um, but he said, not surprised to hear PFT has put out two ridiculous conditions on the fight that I delete my Twitter if I lose and that I renounce that I win. 
<laughs> Northwestern. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that like Darren would take that seriously is just like oh, so Oh, he's funny. gotten more and more serious about it. Yeah. Where Ravel is like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> he's like, let me get you a dictionary. <laughs> like he's like, renounce my degree. How do like, what does that even mean? He's like, renounce, renounce your fucking it. degree. Say I renounce my degree. <laughs> like, so um He was like, you can't be a Northwestern fan anymore. Like you <laughs> you no longer get to root for wrestling. You don't get to claim Northwestern. And Ravel's like, I think PFT might have even dropped the Twitter account and then left and it just, just said that. Announcing. And R- Ravel refuses that too. So that's why you know he's really mm-hmm. like, he just wants the attention. And, um, but it, it, it does pose the question about deleting your Twitter. Mm-hmm. Now, I, do, I was doing the rundown with Dan and we brought it up. Do you know what Dan threw out as his, like, not even, you know, we didn't really get into it, but he was like, yeah, I would probably delete it for. What do you think he said? I don't know if it's going to be low or high. It, it seems like it's an extreme number. I Dan doing it for like ten dollars wouldn't surprise me. Dan doing it for fifty million dollars wouldn't surprise me. He said twenty me. million. Okay, and I was like, "You better delete your <laughs> fucking." Account. I was like, "Dan, I don't know what kind of money you're bringing in these days, but for twenty million, yeah, twenty million, I'm fucking out. Absolutely, obviously, obviously. I would do it. For, so here was my thought. I think I would do it for a low number, low. Uh, like there is business value in it for us. Um, so I, it would probably two million is I like think two I, think, million, I think two million is 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 too low for me. I like, don't think it is. So this is this was my logic. It is low from like the value I think, but I want to get off Twitter. Yeah, but I I I, I, I want to get off Twitter too. I I like I want to I want to stop working. I want all this stuff. I want to learn and how to I, fucking I retire. Horseshoe a horse. My horseshoes, I wanna, obviously. <laughs> but the um. But I think that would be enough incentive. So I want desperately to stop using Twitter and to focus all my effort on Instagram and TikTok and now Clubhouse because Twitter sucks. Twitter's useless. Not useless, but in, but in our world, there's some like core value to the stoolies. But Twitter in the big is picture, noticeably dying. Well, yes, maybe that's what I mean. Now, we are, like, we are on a... Going down. We put all of our eggs into a basket. We hopped on... We all jumped aboard the Titanic. <laughs> And it is sinking, and it sucks, and the young people don't like it. Jackie can't like figure it out. She's like, "This fucking sucks," you know. Like, I, this thing is useless. Now, I, I, I got it now. I I, but you I'm hate like, it, I'm right? Like, what are you talking about? Are you idiot! And then I'm like, oh, TikTok, what's that? Right. Like, exactly. I can't, I can't figure out a new app. Makes right. sense. And I, I, so if I could get off of it, force myself to like, all right, every time I was going to send a tweet, just like say somehow figure out a way to put that on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, and then I had two million dollars in the bank. If it, if it, if I was talking about like just the value, uh, and not like my personal desire to get away from it, probably five million. I just say five. Yeah, five five is a fair number. Because again, I'll just start another one. Probably I won't. I wouldn't. I I that was actually the, that's actually a problem where I wouldn't end up being gone. I wouldn't achieve my goal. I'd I'd be like, come back on with. I'd come back grow once I fucking scratched a hole in my arm trying mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. find something to do with my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I if I had like a couple million followers like Dave, like then you know that becomes a different story. Because then I think even if the app is dying, if you have the access to that many people, uh, then I think there's just like more value in it. But um, I'd love to get off it. And they, then it, this all these things always kind of then pose then another question of like, if you were a regular person, do you think you would have social media, and how much would you use it? Because I see, you know, some friends of mine and people I know and girls that I've dated and, and family members and people that I've been around that, like, I'll watch them just fire off tweets into the abyss for, like, zero likes, zero retweets, zero replies. <laughs> it is. And I'm like, what? Like, would I, would I do that? I don't know. But that I, I think that's almost like the, uh, like, a, a professional athlete seeing someone play basketball like, yeah. in the park. You're like, right. you're not even good at this. Right, why and, are you like, doing it? But no that, one's but making, so, you're not making but, any money. Why are you doing but, this? But like that inherently has like, I went to the court and I shot some hoops and there's some fun in that. Like subjecting yourself to the hellscape that is Twitter. Well, I no, think there it's, their they, version it's, isn't. It's, it's probably not fun. a hellscape yeah. to someone who just doesn't have like mentions and shit like yeah. that. Like if you just follow your friends, it's probably a pretty nice experience. I mean, I remember when I was on Facebook before I was a professional in it. And I would just like throw out jokes on my status, or yeah, whatever it's oh, called. Yeah. Right? Oh, I was a big joke status, right? Guy. And big I, and joke I just... status guy, and then in high school, big fake drunk status guy. Really? <laughs> like, you were, yeah. I, not fake drunk. I would be drunk. I would just look drunker than I was. 
Where like, wait, like, like misspell like stuff? Misspell a word or something. Wow. Like that. And, and I don't even know if it's it was. So fucked up. It like, was like, like not even like I, it would be a regular thing. Right, it wouldn't be like, like I'm yeah, drunk, but yeah. it would be like a regular thing. And like, yeah, I'd add an extra R or something like that. And it wouldn't be intentional. I just wouldn't fix it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I'd be yeah, like, like, you. nah, never mind. Nah, that's good. Cool. I'm drunk. I'm yeah. Drunk. It's like a scar on a, on a Facebook status. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, something, something nefarious has happened here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I probably would do it to some extent. Um, I guess you know, you you're just kind of playing like stand up comedian. You know, you're getting these you're getting these tweets off where it feels like, you know. The, what's the deal with you know? yeah but and and then fucking it's like the the meme where it's like my three followers the three three followers who like every tweet mm -hmm. it's all your followers yeah all of your followers are just like ah oh, classic i'll Johnny. give you like love yeah, it yeah. man i mean then you see these people they get their like Twitter, i have i have one Twitter friend click. who uses instagram like he is logan paul yeah and like, like he is just constantly <laughs> how many vlogging. roughly how many followers I'll check right now. And like, like he like refers to himself in the third person. Oh no! No, but it's my favorite account to follow because it's like and my he's best doing friend. Doing it like unironically? Or uh, it yeah, like, oh, yeah, it's oh, unironically, and it's like it is. I don't know. Like, no, I don't know if it's unironic. He's he's Do I know this person. On, yeah, wow. he's putting on a show, but it is like, it's it's just. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Logan Paul doesn't even like, refer to himself in the third person. Just, just look at that. Yeah, like, look at, just yeah. look at the first paragraph. And I knew I <laughs> like the first sentence. So okay, now that I, so he's joking, like knowing this guy, he's he's, he's, he's putting, not joking. He's, he's putting, putting on, on a show, show. right? Right. But right, it right. is like it's. Yeah. I mean, that's what like vloggers do and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, <laughs> it is this it, man. We need to succeed in this life. And like write a screenplay or whatever about this man. <laughs> there are certain people. It is. You know, I mean, actually, like do? I've referenced this friend for it. It's the friend who got fired, fired by from his, his account. account. Yeah, <laughs> not from. Like he didn't have an accounting yep. job. He had an accountant. And the accountant said, I'm, you're, "You're no longer my client." <laughs> Never in history has an accountant fired somebody who clearly needs financial help. We need to take like, we need to write a story of a, a movie one day, and the character needs to be. Like an amalgam of like your your biggest idiot friend, my biggest idiot friend, yeah. put together like make this Frankenstein, like a couple of traits of us, and just make it the funniest goddamn fucking movie <laughs> in the world. I, I I actually believe, and I and I think this is probably like narcissistic and or or there's like a small view of the world because I think everybody might have this, but I think that like my crew of friends are exceptionally funny. Oh, like like I mean, extraordinary. I you know, like like I think I am where I'm at today. Because I like had all these stories with them and would be able to draw on like their right. tale and like you be I, I think you'd be here anyway. I wouldn't. If I wasn't if I didn't have story, I'd have nothing. If you didn't if you weren't like a storyteller. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like if it right. wasn't for like but the then, stories I had, then, then I'm out. Yeah, I'm yeah, out. yeah. But those are a lot of your I'm stories. A, I'm a I'm a landscaper. You, at least you still work at Deloitte. You, <laughs> I'm a fucking landscaper. If but I don't your have stories those. are your stories. <laughs> I don't have I don't have many like my stories are always like I was there when my buddy did this. Yeah, but it's all like that. because yeah. those friends or because. Yeah. But that's why I think it works for me. Is like, I, think, way. I think when you're that person who's that crazy, you're not like, like I was like the internet nerd who liked to blog and liked to do this shit, who was a who had those experiences because of the crazy guy. I don't know if the crazy guy can do the internet nerd part. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I will take that and I will. Put it to the internet. You're Kramer, and, and luckily, or you're, yeah. you're Jay Peterman, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I always kind of said I was like the Mitch Martin of my crew from old school. Like, I had a friend who was Frank the Tank, and yeah, I had yeah. like the slick talking, fast talking friend, like Vince Vaughn was. And uh, you know, everybody had their role. And then Mitch, Mitch was like, he was the party guy. He was partying. Mm -hmm. He was at the party, but he was the guy who was just like, you know, and he was like, oh fuck, I fucked the boss's daughter. Like every now and then, you have like, <laughs> you, had, you do have a story, but for the most part, like the straight man, you know. <laughs> Uh, and that's like why I was able to be here today. Um, but I guess, you know, if I didn't have the following, would I just be out there on Twitter? Like just being that Mitch Martin, I guess, I mean, I guess who's to say I wouldn't be, I would probably fall in line. Like whatever the normal people do is what I would do. Right. I just can't tell if like, I have some friends who are like not on social media or don't use it at all. And some who are, you know, pretending that they're like a blogger, but I don't know where I would fall. I, I, I think I would fall. I wouldn't have it. I didn't have Twitter until Barstool. Yeah, like I, I didn't right. have a Twitter account. Right, and, and granted, that was ten years ago. I had it for but. for sure not. I never had like a personal Twitter. I was like, I got to get these like blog links out. So I always used it for work, if you will. But I never Facebook was the only thing I ever just did for like personal fun, if you will. Yeah, 
And that so. was and like, like this is so long ago that like I would get mad when I get tagged in pictures because when girls took digital cameras out, like it is, folks, that's a real is, thing. I feel like I'd be texting in Texas in the morning, like, are you gonna fucking tag me? Jack, do you have any idea with like what we're talking about in that regard? Like we used to go out, girls, girls would be in clubs with take, hands up with a fucking thing around the wrist, not Nokia, Nikon, just hanging, hanging from their, their wrist, wrist, like dancing to fucking. And they Miley would take Cyrus. pictures and then upload them to Facebook the next day, and you had to like tag everybody so that it would like be. I imagine account. tagging still exists, right? But it's just a digital camera. I haven't been on Facebook in I, forever. Ta- Facebook completely like skipped over my whole whatever. But but there's like I mean, it's not the same. Do you, now girls have disposables, disposables. Have that kind of came back around as like a retro hipster thing. But it's not like tagging. Have you do you ever have a digital camera? Yeah, I did. You did? Okay. I was I was actually huge like whatever. You're kind of into photography? No, no, but like I thought <laughs> I was, you know. Or, but that's what I mean. Like you took like, an interest in it. Like yeah. would would an average girl your age ever have a digital camera or is it all just like on your phone now? Like now? Yeah. Or like when you were in college or whatever. I just can't. Like, why would you have a digital camera? You'd have your fucking phone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, don't when, how old, I, I think we've had this only... conversation with the younger people, but you might be the youngest. Yeah. How old were you when you got a camera? Uh, phone. Oh, I was uh, like fifth grade. But I was like, I, was I like had convinced my parents. In high school. I thought, I like had convinced them that everybody had one. And then. Like a liar? Yeah. Like, yeah. And then, and then I got one like early. And Fifth grade, man. So yeah. And did you so like start with an iPhone? What was your first? Oh phone? my god, no, no. I started don't with... say that. That's it, it was probably like your second phone. What? What? What, yeah, how, was what year phone. was that? <laughs> um, twenty. Because the iPhone came out in like two thousand seven. I want or eight. S- uh, before six, that, six, seven, something like that. Uh, yeah, it might have been seven, eight, something like that. You know what's so funny? I remember because you know my brother's always on like the, he always has the new app, the new technology, the cutting edge, whatever. So he was like. Big into the iPhone, and I remember being like, I, I don't know, man. It's just like a phone. I don't get it. Yeah, oh. <laughs> like, like I don't think these things are a big deal. I remember being furious, and I, I actually, I'm, I'm back to this person. Um, although I'm not anymore because I'm in a good mood. I text now. That was another thing in the bad news. Yeah. Like, if you go back and scroll through our text, I'm sure I'm just saying like two word answers mm-hmm. because I was like, I just gonna get this conversation before Kevin actually yells at me. What? The <laughs> um, fuck? But the so uh, goddamn crazy. What I was gonna say is that. Uh, I remember seeing a, a Verizon texting commercial for the first time. I vividly remember it. People were at a concert. They were, like, calling. It's like, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. And it's actually a pretty good example. Um, mm-hmm. And then it's like, where are you? And then they give, like, the directions. Right. And it's like, texting is here. Yes, and yes, I was like, yes. why the fuck would I want to do that? Just call me. And this is, it is now the belief I hold again. Mm-hmm. But there was a stretch where it was like, I can't believe I ever disliked texting. Yeah, texting is texting changed the world. for. I, I just can't get over fifth grade, man. F- a fifth grade phone is wacky. I think I had anal sex before I had a fucking phone. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just a different goddamn world. Um, but so, final answer for you, uh, Twitter. Do you have Twitter? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I think we settled on five. five. Five, yeah. But I would do it for two for with the mindset of like go on yeah, Instagram also, instead. You know, like, like you come to me with you a put the bag. Check. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really. If you put a million dollars on the table, I don't think I'm turning it down for like almost anything. Yeah, <laughs> you know. What I yeah, because because again, like I would probably just invest my time in other apps other that things. Yeah, are more in important. Ways. Yeah, like I think better. Yeah, it's crazy that we guess <laughs> Twitter and YouTube, man. We put uh, all our eggs in the YouTube in the Twitter basket, and we ignored YouTube for so long. That one was kind of forced on us. Yeah. I think we should be more mad about that. <laughs> Show them how mad you are. Go follow us on YouTube. Serious. <laughs> These motherfuckers just follow us. That's we subscribe. We gotta subscribe. Whatever. That's how not YouTube savvy we all are here. Yeah. I, I don't know how to do it. I'm talking to you guys now. I'm talking to the to the barstool audience. And I get it because I am this guy too. The way I use YouTube, I I get sent a link. And I click it, I open that, I watch that. Or I go to YouTube and I type in, like, Pennsylvania snow gun murder. <laughs> and then I watch the video, and then I X out. The whole bottom half of YouTube, I don't even look at. And that's where it's, like, recommended for you, and here are you, who you subscribe to, and here's what's trending. And that's how people, like, really use that m- mega popular platform. And I think most Barstool fans are like me, where it's just, like, 
I don't, you know, there are people who subscribe and have their channels and they log into YouTube and that's their entertainment for the night. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm gonna watch this vlog and then this live stream here and it's all set up and it's perfect and it's fucking amazing. It's like this video content, TV, movie, streaming platform that I think our audience just does not use it that way. It's almost in a way like TikTok where it's just like, it's just not our style. However, we have to be big on YouTube. It's like not an option not to be. So I'm like, how can I get... When like, we get 100,000 subscribers, we'll do something crazy. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. So just go subscribe. Idea. And I'll fucking... It's not a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to make a suicide joke, and then my brain went, I don't want to. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, that's progress. If I get to 100,000, I'll kill myself. No, no, I'm not is, going to. That is progress. <laughs> but it is like I, I, trying to... I'm trying to think of like the way to get the an entire audience. You know, everything else we've ever asked you guys to do, it's like... Follow this account on Twitter. It's like hundred thousand followers right away. Donate to this cause. Hundred thousand dollars right away. Uh, you know, like do this, watch that. All these things people do. Download our apps. Bet with the sports book. And then we ask, you know, can you subscribe to YouTube? And it's like we got like five thousand subscribers. And it's I'm not. It's not like I'm I'm angry about it. I'm not knocking you guys. But it's like it is just this thing that the audience that our audience doesn't do. When every other every comic everybody we listen to. You all right? I can't just see my shoulder. Out. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, uh, it's crazy. Uh, Getting old, brother. It's crazy. Uh, I, don't even know, I don't even know what I was doing. This is what? No, uh, subscribe versus not subscribe. Okay. This is so infuriating, bro. And it's up, though. It is up. It's up. But it's still. Because it was embarrassing at one point. This is, this is for the KFC Radio one. I know. I think for the Kevin Clancy yeah. show. For the KFC Radio one, it's 75% of people that are watching are, are not, not subscribed, subscribed at all. 24.7% of you are subscribed, and I thank you for that. 75.3 will watch the videos, complete the videos, enjoy the videos, and then you're just not subscribed. And again, I get it because I, I am so hypocritical when it comes to this. I just do the same thing to other Right. shows and other uh, other comics it's like that was a great video uh, i'm not going to subscribe uh and i just need we just need to flip that i think the kevin clancy show one is like 95 five it's so bad like 95 percent of people watching are not subscribed and i'm just like yeah, you guys are fucking just, just hit it killing me because that's the other thing too is you don't like it's not like you have to have a youtube username or a handle it's just your gmail and it crushes me when i just see like other shows, other people who are, are, are good, but I know less popular than us, have been in the game way shorter than us and have way more subscribers, and it absolutely crushes my soul. It's uh, 96.4 on the Kevin I mean, Clancy that's channel. so embarrassing. It's so Going embarrassing. Down. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. That means more people are watching, but they're still just not subscribing. It's so please, like, please, please subscribe. Please, I'm literally just begging you to subscribe if you watch the, or even if you don't watch them, please. It's the one thing, like, we have the power of Barstool where we can always count on, like, oh, we'll blow that out of the water. We'll get, we'll blow past that dollar amount. We'll blow past that follower amount. We'll do, and then there's YouTube, the most popular platform on the planet that we have just I been... think that we should get you guys to do something at 100,000. Yeah, that's a good idea. Have you seen uh, the Are You Garbage guys have their Patreon up? Uh if you go go to the Are You Garbage Patreon and subscribe, if you're not, they have you know levels when we get to all these things. Uh, we'll do this, we'll do that, and I think like the peak one they have right now, and they're all garbage like behavior. Uh -huh. So uh, so Foley, uh, Uncle Foley, and Aunt Kippy are gonna go to the. They're gonna go to like one of those Poconos. Um, uh, like honeymoon suites with like the hot like the heart hub uh, hot tub uh -huh. and they're gonna like spend a night in one of those trash fucking <laughs> hotel motel uh, experiences together. Um, they also they, the are you garbage? I have guys, an alarm set for this. When is it at? When's it? Nine o'clock tonight. Nine o'clock tonight. Are you garbage? Comes out with their card game. We got. I I talked to Foley and I said we got to get you in to promote it. Um, they have their own version of like answer the internet coming out, which is. Maybe even like a better hook than Answer the Internet, if I'm being totally honest. The Answer the Internet's an unbelievable hook, but bringing all of the garbage questions to a deck of cards is absolutely fucking spectacular. So tonight, uh, or tomorrow, I guess yesterday, right? By the time you listen to this? Yes. So it's already on sale now, if you guys are listening. The Are You Garbage card game is out. Um, so for example, the one question they have... <laughs> Anyone in your family ever own a Dodge Neon? Like, you garbage, garbage, yo. Uh, so um, anyway, they have those, those like levels to do something stupid. So let us know. How about this? You guys can pick 
the dumb things that we have to do at these levels, but then you have to get to the levels. What if, what if we make something that we've been talking about? Like, what if we make like a teaser for one of the movies we've said we're going to make or something like that? That's a bit ambitious, I think. Well, Let's make I, a movie. I, I, a I, don't, I don't know if a I'm going to make a movie. A teaser. <laughs> but. No, yeah, we could, we could promise some content. We could promise, you know, I, I think people love to just see us get embarrassed and mortified <laughs> in ways. Yeah, um, but I would like to, you know, what are we at now? Almost 50,000? Uh, we're at 43. So let's pick a 50,000 and then a hundred thousand. And then, because I'll be honest, like getting to a hundred thousand feels like, like I'd be happy with that. But we're talking, I mean, our like competitors and our contemporaries are like in the millions. We are so fucking far behind. (laughs) It just kills me thinking that KFC radio was on YouTube in 2012. And if we had just stuck with that and been allowed to stick with that, we'd have 10 years of subscribers. And then particularly like when we tried to do the vlog and we did answer the internet, we like petitioned the powers that be, like let us do YouTube and we're told no, which I understand because I'm sure at the time they were like, yo, you know, these fucking internal players like pay the bills, so you have to do it. But then to turn around and be like, why aren't your YouTube numbers up? It's like, well, come on, that's not fucking fair. That's not fucking fair. That's like telling somebody like, you know, you got to hit for contact, stop swinging for the fences, and then in two years being like, your power numbers are way down. <laughs> like, come on. The video podcast also will be out uh, sooner than it is right now. Right, right now it's been going out at 8. We're going to be releasing it at noon uh, the day the podcast yeah, that was a valid. that was a valid point from people being like, well, I want to listen to it on when, Tuesdays and what, what days we come on? Tuesdays and Thursdays when it drops, but you're, you know, the audio's out way before the video. So we're going to try to fix that uh, and make sure it's out almost you know, simultaneously. Yeah. So. And, al- and also, just like every Wednesday, we have our premium content that we put Prime out. Time. one thing I learned. One thing I learned. Uh, behind, behind the blog. blog. Behind the blog is out now with Kate. Yo, Kate, this interview was awesome. I, I feel like, a, I feel like I, it's almost like disin- people think I'm disingenuous because every time I do Behind the Blog, I say this like it's amazing. But the people who are at Barstool are all obviously some of the most like, unique personalities in the world to work at a place like this. And Kate was just raw as fuck she was just talking like you know she's like i fucking loved cocaine i was partying hard i was doing this i was doing that i was like a disappointment i needed to turn my life around so i went to the military and it was like low and then high and then like funny and dark like i mean you know she's talking about the divorce she went through and suicide and like i mean things that i was just like holy shit uh, I got my Barbara Walters on where it's just like, <laughs> um, we're getting like confessions and admissions and, and like all these crazy things. Um, so that's out now. So, I mean, there is just a lot of good shit on our YouTube and we are talking about doing some like original content as well. So long story short, please subscribe. So we obviously got our voicemails coming up. It's MI the Asshole Thursday. No interview today. It's just me and Johnny, me and Tigger over here. <laughs> um, but first, we got a hypothetical to pose to you. That's you got to be you. careful with Tigger. I, it is a tough, yeah. It's so a I, tough I, one. I, I strive to one day have the confidence of the man who named a Jigger. <laughs> <laughs> and like the hey, bartenders. Pass me the Jigger. And the, what? The bartenders who yell it across. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, pass yeah. me the, the fucking thing, like the shape, like an like upside down triangle. The you pour shots into thingy, it. yeah. I'm not even <laughs> trying. <laughs> the hypothetical today is brought to you by Movement. Join the motherfucking movement today. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, which means Valentine's Day is coming up, which means guys are going to go get flowers and chocolate and jewelry and, and uh, teddy bears and uh, maybe some gifts. And what do guys get in return? Nobody knows. What do you get a guy for Valentine's Day? Like I said, you, you, you maybe you wear some lingerie. Maybe you promise some sex. That doesn't count. I, you want a fucking gift. Yeah. I, These I, things that are I, not someone tangible. Who, it's like, come on. I'm like a girl in the, yep. the Stop stereotypical right there. girl who who has like, she's like dropping heavy hints. Mm-hmm. I'm now three holidays deep on, on, on not having sunglasses mm-hmm. and on having a wallet where every time I take something out, I go, ah, this fucking There's, wallet. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the third holiday in a row. <laughs> and guess what you're not going to get? Yeah. I'm not wallet. getting sunglasses or a wallet. <laughs> so, like, girls, ladies, Fidelberg's girl, listen. 
I'm, go, I'm, go I'm keeping this thing until like, it finally it hits through. And you know what the thing about what's good? Like, get get Feidelberg the, the movement sunglasses because they're those are dope sunglasses. Yeah, they're really nice. I love the hide. The hide has been my one. The the, the hide. I think the mine I had the weekender. Somebody yeah, had the we- yeah, that's weekender. Yeah, that's one of them too. Fucking yep. sharp as hell. Uh, so they have the the sunglasses. They also have the regular eyeglasses that have the ever scroll technology with the lenses, so that your eyes don't get strained from like staring at the screen too often. Um, and of course, the watches. That's where this all began. You get a nice watch for your man for Valentine's Day. You can get the the metal ones, the leather ones, colors, different colors, different materials, different sizes. They do have the female ones, so you can get you can get your girl some uh, Valentine's Day gifts from Movement as well. But uh, Movement has the the nice, slick, stylish uh, accessories to uh, dress up the male look, whether it's the glasses, the sunglasses. Or this, uh, or the uh, watches. So join the movement today for Valentine's Day. Go to mvmt.com uh, slash KFC and use the promo code VDay20 at checkout for twenty percent off. That's mvmt.com slash KFC. So we get credit, and then the code is VDay20 to get twenty percent off with the free shipping and free returns. Um, okay, Johnny, hypothetical, hit me. Okay, so this was uh, breaking news. I guess it's a very old quote, I believe, um, but it is you know, it's in the, in the media today. Nope, it's actually not. The tweet is from September sixteenth. It's just it's just re re viral right now. Come up, yeah. Um, Randy Johnson, the once big had a quote. unit, one of the best nicknames ever. By the way, this is when he's on Seattle. So this is this is a young. Oh, Randy. this is yeah. when he was like wild man. This remember is when, when John Cruck in the All Star game. Um, this like Randy Johnson used to be like I don't know where the ball is going and you might like oh, take your head do off. I remember, yeah, Kevin, it was on 1992, the year in sports <laughs> <laughs> when he put the helmet on backwards. Yeah, and, and like, then, like, and like, was, like you... standing in the back of the box. Yeah, yes, amazing. <laughs> Wait, really. maybe, maybe. You no, know, I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one that was in 92, in the year in sports. Yeah. 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 Um, but Randy Johnson said, I don't own a gun, but I keep a bag of baseballs near our bed. If someone breaks in, they better be wearing a batting helmet because I'm going to throw with their fucking head. I added fucking just for effect. Well, um, he was thinking it. Yeah, he was thinking it. Now, I was thinking. That is one of the most impractical weapons of all time. Oh, I completely disagree. This uh, is, I was like, would you rather break into a house in the middle of the night? And maybe you don't know whose home it is. Maybe you just don't know what weapons they keep bedside. But you break into Randy Johnson's house and Barry Bonds' house. Mm-hmm. Randy's got a ball, bag of balls. Barry's got a bat. Who are you more well, that's worried different. about? Okay, I, I was going to compare to him talking about the gun. Oh, heavens okay. no. no a, so, gun, a gun beats a baseball, I'll admit that. So, rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> gun beats ball. <laughs> I will say, there's pros and cons to all this. Randy, you know, to hit me with a bat, you got to be close enough to hit me with a bat, mm-hmm. obviously. Randy Johnson... That could be a hallway away. You know, I'm in the kitchen. I mean, I'm in the living room rifling through his shit to steal it. He's fucking throwing, like, down the stairs at me. Yes. However, there's, you know, he's got to, like, w- you know, you see that coming in a way. You know what I mean? Like, he's, it's like a, he's got to get the balls, get in front of you, wind up. But he's not taking a wind up. He's, th- he's throwing quick throws, and they're still coming in about 89, I mean, about mid-90s. I, he's not. I, he's not. Th- so you catching a home invader. He's not throwing them from the fucking stretch. No. Yeah. But I'm so, so like I'm trying to think of it like realistically. Like I'm in the I'm in the living room. I'm trying to like get the TV off the wall, and he's I hear him. I'm like running down the stairs, and then he like stops like in in the doorway, and he's got his bucket of balls, and he just starts. What is he? You know, is it like, like is it like pow, 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 pow? or is it like you know he's got to throw and then I'm moving and then I'm running. I don't know. I, I feel like it's I think not- Randy Johnson kills me one shot. One shot. One I don't shot. Know. I don't know. I think. I, I think he. I'm hit. not sitting here saying that I'm going to be like fucking dodgeball, like evading Randy Johnson's, uh, you know, fastball. I'm just saying I don't know if it's the most Bro, practical. Bro, you ever seen weapon. like the players like in the, like playing catch with the kids in the outfield where they just sandlot the kids and they're like just hold your glove right there. Yeah. And then it's, boom! I hit you there. And they're like, but ba- here, they stay the, still. I'm moving. But they but they can just put it wherever they want. Yeah. Like if it's if you're moving. But like if I get one in the chest, shoulder, that, well, that's gut, like, once you get hit, once you're done, well, then I'm done. Then you're like on the floor, and then he's just and fucking guess what? pounding yeah, your baseballs. Gonna, my head is just gonna be Ugh. mush. Do you remember? Did you watch the leftovers? Uh, I didn't finish it, but I did. Do you like, remember the scene when they 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 tied that girl to the fucking tree and then hit her in the face with rocks? Yes, I yes, I did Gladys. see that one. Whew. That was one of the hardest scenes I've ever watched on TV, and there's those rocks just thumping off of her face. That would be me just getting, you know, peppered with Randy Johnson, 100 mile on our fastball. And now Barry John, like Barry, Barry Johnson, Barry Bonds, what a, what is a, what a f- Frankenstein that would be. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Like John a, Dowd is he's got he's good with the bat. You remember he, John Dowd? 
Mm, I know the name. John Dowd was Barry Bonds in uh, yes, the video yes, game. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I believe he was a video game developer. It was like MLB The Show. I think John Dowd, because he wasn't in the MLB That's PA. one of the cockiest things. Uh, Jordan in, in NBA basketball games and Barry Bonds in, in MLB games when they Bill Belichick Bill Bill Bill. NFL games. Really? Yeah, you're just any coach. Mm, interesting. Um, but uh, I, I was thinking about it with a bat. Like, you just, and now Bonds is quick, so he'll probably catch me, in which case the bat is definitely worse. Mm -hmm. But, like, you kind of only get one swing. Like, you get, like, like even if you're chasing me down a hallway, you can't really swing it. You go overhand. I don't know. Maybe never mind. It might be bad. I was going to say. It might be bad. Barry, you know, he, he wields that thing like it's just a fucking, like a, like a, Toothpick. a drumstick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Like, the way we, we would have a mini bat, he has, like, a fucking, you know, 38 ounce or whatever the fuck he uses where it's just, wow, wow, wow. Like, he's not even using it like he's swinging a bat. He's just using that as, like, a weapon where he's just clocking you. Whereas I feel like there's a little bit more of a chance to evade a ball being thrown at you from some sort of distance, you, you know? Tell that to that fucking bird. Oh, that bird is one of my favorite... There there you go, Nick. It's one of my favorite uh, sports moments. I mean, this is... <laughs> thing God, it fucking it explodes. explodes. It pops. <laughs> Jackie, you ever seen that clip? No. Watch this. Pop! <laughs> a bird! A bird! A bird. Jackie, I mean, how amazing. Like, the chances of that... Literally. I mean, has I, I it ever say, happened before or ever again? Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I bet you, like, so much baseball's happened. I, I mean, <laughs> the feathers. Just, it looks like, um, you know what it looks like? In movies, when girls have pillow fights, and they're just literally yeah. a, a pillowcase filled with flower uh, with feathers. And they just explode everywhere. I mean, it, it, it absolutely mm. pops. You guys are such guys. You're like, oh, that's so cool. It <laughs> is cool. <laughs> that's cool. It's one of the coolest things that's ever that's happened ever in sports. Ch no, no, no. Mm. No, no, no. Ever. Ever. It's not just sports. It's it's not it's not only is it one of the coolest, one of the most entertaining. It's the most. It might be. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. The most improbable thing that has ever happened. It's how who's ever the seen a bird fly that low in the in the world? There's a baseball game happening with that man on the mound, and a bird at the exact time swoops in, and like his height, six ten, the way he throws it, like the amount of things that went into. That happening. I can't imagine. Can you try to see if this ever happened before or after, Nick? I can't imagine it has, and I can't imagine it ever will. I don't I don't think so. It's just, and, and if well, it ever does, so like when it first happened, people, I'm sure it took a little a, a few seconds to put it together, and they were probably like, wow, oh my God. If you're at a game right now and the Randy Johnson happens, I would go insane. <laughs> You're like, Keegan, we just witnessed something. They're like, like, forget about Haley's mm -hmm. Comet. Forget about these things. I mean, that happens once every trillion years, and it happened twice. 74. I mean, 74 is I mean, Haley's 74, Comet? 76, something like that. Yeah. It's just, it's the, cr it's, it's the I most I know that because of Mark Twain. Mark Twain was born the day Haley's Comet died the same died, day, right? Uh, died the day after it passed. It's incredible. And he predicted it years before. Really? He's like, he's like, I was dropped off here by Haley's Comet. If, I, um, if I'm not up. picked up, I will be very disappointed. Ha! That's awesome. So I guess we should probably look into how he died, though. If he committed suicide. Hail Bop, you know? Gotta get on that comment and go. Uh, shout out to the big unit. You know what? The big unit was such a fucking pussy on the Yankees. That I didn't just... I forgot he was ever on the Yankees. Exactly. He was like, he got... The media owned him. He wasn't very good. That... He's the guy I point to when, when, when I'm like, yo, that... Like, people don't hack it in New York. And they're like, that's like bullshit. Like, if you're a gamer and you're, you can do it, it's like... Mm -mm. Yeah, but he was like old. He was old, but he still he, had that fire. I think, but like, but I think no, when, was, when they signed him, I remember like was he? Was I mean, he? He's, yeah, he's definitely old because he was in the game for a long time. But it was not like he was like washed up. I mean, he was definitely like on the decline. Were for they sure, signing but, him? Did they sign him as an ace? Uh, like thinking they found an ace, or was it just like a, here's a guy? I, mean, I, I think rotation. they were stacked so much so, like at the time that like I don't know who their ace was, but. Um, I remember being like, oh, fuck, like Randy Johnson's in the Yankees now. And then I was like, oh, this is not, I'm not even like, you know, like worried about it. Um, People have come close to hitting birds. 2007. And like one got skimmed through in this video, but no one has blown up a fucking bird. <laughs> That's like actually Randy crazy Jones. that like it hit, but it, it was okay. This, this one like just gets by. Yeah, it's a lot of like close calls, it looks like. I, you can't actually yeah, see like hitting. Yeah. So that's what I mean though. It's like, so. You know, there's a lot of birds and a lot of pitches being thrown. He only played one year there? So 2008, yeah, was that really he's not on, wow. on the See, that's how fucking bad he was. I mean, it was after his Diamondbacks time, obviously. In 01, they, uh, 
I guess I'm maybe I'm not looking at like no, the no, no, look, 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 look. Okay, here it is. So uh, they they got him in a trade in 2004 from the Diamondbacks. Oh, okay. So like you know he he was just the he, World Series MVP in 2001. You know, um, but I mean like he still was not he was on the roster in 2007. So at most he was there for two so, years. Yeah, it was quick because I mean he was he just flamed the fuck out. Uh, but shout out to Randy Johnson for killing a bird and giving us one of the best moments of all time. Before we get into our voicemails, I'm on the asshole. John had an interaction with his New York City super that is one of the darkest, but I gotta call a spade a spade, funniest text, like, like, text exchange I've ever heard about. Our life. laughing at this is definitely probably going to upset some people, but it is. There's gonna be somebody who can who can relate who's gonna be upset, but it's. I have sent this to people who like I sent it to people who I knew it was gonna be hilarious. I, mm -hmm. This is probably my most sent text uh -huh. of all time, and mm -hmm. and then I sent it to people too, like kind of testing the waters. We thought it might be borderline, and everyone is like, ha ha ha, OMG, drops the hammer, blah 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 blah. So I first of all, I've never met my super. I've lived there for about six yeah, months. Yeah. I've never met him. I don't call him. I especially I just, with pandemic and shit. Just like, like yeah. I just don't talk to yeah. him. I've, I've never. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what this person looks like. I, right. I have no idea. And even even our text exchange only has two things. One, I texted him actually Sunday because I have a weird thing in my apartment building, and I'm on the second floor, so I'm right by the lobby. And when the Comcast, uh, when the Spectrum cuts out, for some reason it sets off an alarm in our lobby. And I, I noticed that. Yeah. It's, the light going off. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. Very yeah, weird. Yeah. So I, I texted Sunday night. It went out for a little bit. Actually, we had to watch most of the Super Bowl on a hot spot. Um, but it was, hey, the alarm is going off in the lobby again. No reply. Just, and, and whatever. I'm like, what? he's probably like, yeah, when the fuck you do. It's when, Sunday and I'm at. When Spectrum yeah. comes back on, it'll fucking yeah. go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell you. And then yesterday, I said, um, well, since I, I think I told on the rundown, but I I have not had a microwave since I moved into my apartment. Mm -hmm. Just it mm -hmm. it was it didn't work night mm -hmm. one, and I just don't use the microwave that often, mm -hmm. so it didn't really fucking matter. Mm -hmm. Um, and I said, hey, our microwave isn't working. It hasn't since this, this is at five twenty four p.m. Hey, our microwave isn't working. It hasn't since we moved in, but wasn't an issue until today. Could you come take a look at it when you get a chance? Didn't get a reply, and I was like, he's probably just telling me to go fuck myself again. Like, whatever, I get it. Mm -hmm. At 8.43, I said, I got a text. Sorry, I'm at the hospital. Let me speak to the manager tomorrow. I said, thank you. Hope everything is okay. At 8.44, right, right away, I just said that. 8.45, he hit back right away. I'm going to repeat my last text again. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to go from the top. Sorry, I'm at the hospital. Let me speak to the manager tomorrow. Thank you. Hope everything is okay. Not really. I have cancer on my right kidney. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh come on, man! That never even met you. I got you gonna put that evil on me? I don't know who you are. I don't. I couldn't pick you out of a lineup. And now I have to deal with your goddamn fucking cancer when my microwave isn't working. <laughs> I can't make a hot pocket and I gotta deal with you dying and then because I'm such a fucking psychopath I got in my own head going bananas about what I'm supposed to reply to this fucking text and the typical thing with someone you know or have met would be that's awful what can I do but I don't know this guy's life and he might say, "Well, he's a crazy. He has no cooth, apparently. Right. If he'll just send that in a text message, he might take you up on the offer to do something. He, he not not something. He might say, yeah, a kidney would be great.' Yeah. And then, in order to avoid impolite, I'll being impolite, guess who's down a kidney now? I'll I'll fix that <laughs> microwave. You just got to give me a he, spare kidney. He didn't have to. He doesn't. He the only reason I haven't given this guy a kidney yet is he hasn't asked. If this guy texts me right now and it's like, you know, I'm in, I'm pretty down." The, I'm going to have to take the kidney. Uh, could, could I have yours? Yes. Fine. Here you go. Because I don't want you to think I'm even a little bit rude. And it is. Let me tell you this much. The phrase, not really, I have cancer, should never really be uttered. <laughs> you know, and you really think about that logically. If you're throwing out a not really, it should not be followed by I have a terminal disease. Because that means you're implying, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, like, hey, how you think? I don't really know. Let me inquire. What's up? Not really. I have cancer. I mean, <laughs> you just can't do that. And, and at least he gave me the specifics. It's on the right kidney. I looked it up. 75% survival rate. If you're going to pick one. Left? Oh, no, no. I mean, I just, just in general. kidney cancer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, wow, but if I you're going to pick matter. one of the cancers, 75% survival rate sounds pretty high to me. Yeah, sure. Right? Like that's that's pretty good. Three four. But then, since I didn't know 
No, 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 no. You know what? Well, yeah, yeah, because I was thinking about my YouTube subscribers. <laughs> and and 70, 75% of you motherfuckers aren't subscribed, so that's, yeah, it's a high-ass number. Yeah. So let's fucking, let's make sure, <laughs> let's just get that to one Continue. Yeah. <laughs> but then, because I didn't, like, I didn't know how to reply, and I just fucking stared at the screen for a while, and then I settled on, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, that's just not enough. He's going to think you're being sarcastic. Why he would ever think that, I don't know. When you said earlier, like, you're in the mind of a psychopath, like, <laughs> yeah. and here we go. This and, is John agonizing and so I was like, he's going to think I'm, like, making fun of him or whatever. <laughs> and so I fucking, I, I decided to tack on to the end. I will keep you in my prayers tonight. Like, I'm a fucking cartoon child who gets on his knees and says his prayers before he's allowed to get into fucking bed while he's full pajama up. And then last night... I said a prayer for the no. guy because I didn't. Think no, I, I didn't no. think that. That's like, it's like, well, if I told the guy I was gonna say a prayer. I gotta say a fucking prayer for the What guy. was the prayer? I didn't. What did I, you say? What did you say? I, I said. What did you say to yourself? <laughs> what did you say to God? Honestly, I basically said what I texted you because me, I had texted. Let me read it again. I had texted it to you and I was like, okay, it's in my head. I'll just stick with that. Like I texted it to you as a joke, but then really, it is a nice sentiment. <laughs> he said. Where is it? Because you had you sent a little picture too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you had a little, uh, <laughs> where is it? Fuck. He said, um, "Dear Lord, please look after and give him the strength to get through this treacherous battle." Amen. <laughs> you, you, you said that, didn't you? Yeah. And, and, and he sent me. I, this, didn't, I will be admit, I didn't get on my knees. I just and, did it and in he bed. Sent me this little picture. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it is like, and I fucking, I feel bad laughing because of course I want him to survive. All that. It's just an insane text to send to someone. Not really. Never, I got cancer. You've never met. No, you can't do that. Like I have to now. I have to go through my day. I have added stress thinking about my super, who I've never met. Cancer is battle, and I'm like. Come on, man. I, I just got happy 16 hours ago. Can I have a day? Can I <laughs> you, you and your cancer is inconveniencing me and my mental can, health. Can Get the I fuck out of here. I just have one moon's trip around the earth well, what? of being in a good goddamn mood and not having a fucking if, anxious if, panic attack. If you could go back and, and redo that text, what, what, would you just leave it the same or what would you reply? If, if I could go back and do it, I'd just fucking deal with my broken microwave. <laughs> I wouldn't ever send a text to begin with, Kevin. <laughs> I think if someone said, "Not really," I have cancer. I would, I would, I would, uh, I would just send back the the, the frowny face emoji, <laughs> not, but not even the actual emoji. I would do colon parentheses, <laughs> or no, I would just do thumbs down. <laughs> oh no, you know what I would do? I would send the gif of thumbs down guy from Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Totally bummer, dude. <laughs> that is a total thumbs down, dude. <laughs> that is an absolute bummer. Is the perfect. What, what a, a bummer. bummer. <laughs> I, I, I told you to send back, well, probably from a faulty microwave. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. why you got that cancer. I heard you give, they yeah. give out carcinogens and fucking radioactive <laughs> waves. Oh, no, and I also said, uh, well, at least you got two. And then, and then, I would have wrote back, you got another one. Come fix my fucking microwave, <laughs> pal. He's about to be lying, these fucking scoundrels in New York City, these fucking, <laughs> these rat landlords and supers. He's probably like, I don't want to fix this fucking microwave. I don't want to do it anytime soon, so I got to tell this guy something that covers me for the next six to nine months. <laughs> Every time he texts him now, I got chemo, dude. I I'm can't. never going to text him ever again. Are you ever. kidding me? Next thing, next thing I know, it's like, well, my mom just committed suicide. I'm like, well, all right, dude, come on. It's like, I just got a light out. <laughs> well, I do have to call a super for, to fix not. lights because uh, I, I have tons of lights out. That but are not just light bulbs. It's like I said, like I, I can't reach it. It's mm, not just like a regular. Like, mm. I just cannot get up. I don't, I'll go up by a ladder. Come on. What do I live in fucking Kansas? You told I, I told you uh, I told you guys my rule. I said this on the rundown the other day. I'll reiterate it here for the KFC radio people. Uh, my rule: never leaving the, the earth again. Yeah. I'm I'm go I'm not going to leave the ground. I'll take a flight. You know, I'll do those things. I'll uh, elevator, whatever. You know. But me personally, I will not be leaving. The ground ever. Yeah, but then ever I again. asked you to jump and you almost did. So I almost did, but right now give us a good jump. But I didn't. Come and on. I, and I won't. Nope, not doing it. Not you doing it. I can hit this head up there? Yeah, right? Yeah, you can. You might. Uh, by the way, before you do this, I noticed about like 20 minutes ago, like you, the whole thing was falling apart. You were stretching your leg yeah. and you were like hurting. I was well, I got a foot cramp after. Well, yeah, so it's me. So <laughs> you go ahead and jump and guess what's, guess what's going to happen? 
This is straight up. Yeah, you're not. I mean, you're not gonna feel good about this afterwards. Also, you better touch it. <laughs> if you don't touch it, you're bad. Yeah, yeah easy, <laughs> I was easy. a little scared. That yeah. was easy, but, fucking but, you know, breezy. Like, shout out to my guy Tom Segura. You know, like he he got me he got me shook. There's just no reason to to leave the ground. What what benefit? What did you get from that? Okay, you touched the ceiling. What if you blew out your patella? What? We got something good. Uh, hit this ad read, and then I'll play it on the screen. Oh, all right. It's breaking. Breaking news from uh, from my guy Nick. It's brought to you by Miller Lite. You know, when there's big news to be had, you got to crack open a Miller Lite. It's a celebration, bitches. You got, you know, turn 21, you, get, you have a Miller Lite. Hey, you got that promotion, have a Miller Lite. We're getting married, have a Miller Lite. Hey, you can still touch the ceiling when you jump. <laughs> Miller Lite. By the way, go to the YouTube and watch because John jumping and touching the ceiling was a, a visual spectacle. Yeah, it was great. YouTube, and then subscribe. <laughs> it was like the Beijing Olympics all over exactly. again. Exactly. Give them a gold medal. Uh, so whatever the news is, breaking news, good, bad, or otherwise, Miller Lite is there for you to, to make that situation better. You know who could maybe use a Miller Lite right now? You're super. Yeah. You know? It's like, hey. Well, probably you know not. I, you, no, yeah. Well, the, yeah, the kidneys are the involved kidney. in the process of alcohol, I believe. I think so, yeah. It's probably not yeah. great. But you know what? Also, it's like, <laughs> you deserve it, pal. You deserve it, you know? You should have wrote back, I'm going to send you some Miller Lite. I'm going to go to MillerLite.com slash KFC. I'm going to find out the deliveries uh, in your in your neighborhood, get sent rent to our building, and we'll make it better for you. Uh, so whatever whatever the reason may be, whatever news or you're, you're breaking, whatever uh, things you're celebrating, Miller Lite is the answer for you. Great taste, less filling. It's brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's only 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces and only 96 calories. It's brewed in Milwaukee from the Miller Brewing Company. So you know that that's like, the real deal. It's like getting like Italian food in Little Italy, you know? It's like you're going to Milwaukee, <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee Wisconsin, years. in the heartland of America. You're going to eat cheese and you're going to drink your beer. That's what Milwaukee does. So Miller Lite's there for you as the original light beer with great taste, less filling. And right now you can get it delivered right to your door. You don't have to worry about COVID. You don't have to worry about social distancing or touching or any of that uh, when you go to MillerLite.com slash KFC and find out the delivery options near you. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. What do we got, Nick? Drunk Tom Brady? No way! Yeah! No way! Tommy, baby! Fuck yeah! No <laughs> way! Oh my god! This is, a ha this is even happier than yesterday. Brady is fucking shattered! Shattered! This man! Oh god, I love him! Oh, I fucking love him. That is awesome. That is some fucking 2006 Lindsay Lohan getting carried out the club shit. Bro, I yes. am astounded right now. I mean, he I, he wasn't that drunk when he was 23 when he won his first Super Bowl. John, I am Tommy, Tommy don't know about that boat life. Floored. That sun hits you. The boat, the, the beers go down a little faster going. on a boat. Dude. That, he, he was like Weekend at Bernie's. He is shattered. Absolutely <laughs> astounded. <laughs> I am, I'm speechless. I'm flabbergasted. That, not since Tom, not since Tim Duncan stumbling his way out of the club. You remember that one? <laughs> he had his big fat jeans on and, his, and his, his plaid shirt. He had to get carried out. You know how hard it is to carry out a fucking seven foot tall Tim Duncan? <laughs> Tom Brady is like your girlfriend leaving brunch. <laughs> Tom Brady looks like your girlfriend after bottomless mimosas. Holy shit. Tom Brady. The, I mean, you know what? I mean, it's not like a retirement thing because we all know he's just going to keep playing. But this is, this is, I would say, let's call it, I would call it uh, seven years approximately of Tom like letting go. You know what I mean? Like, like he dealt with Deflate Gate. He dealt with uh, the, the the Belichick bullshit. He, he he knew he had pressure on him to to be like, all right, I gotta prove that it was me, not Bill. And he did it. And now he's like, fuck it, I'm it, drinking. What do you think he drinks? What do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you think he got drunk off of? Wait, right did now? he throw the Lombardi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy! Oh Bro, my god! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. I mean, wait a minute! What if that, that's, that's not that's not like the like that can't be like the Lombardi, right? I'm sure it is. Wait, but like the Lombardi? No, no, no. Because what if that just went like sunk in the water? Uh, it's happened with the Stanley Cup. Yeah, yeah get scuba divers, go get it. Uh, but I also mean, the Stanley Cup, there's only one cup. It fell in a lake in Minnesota. I think it was Mike Madonna. 
Uh, That's hilarious. And um, it was uh, actually I don't know. Madonna Who do you throw it to? That's just fans. No, I guess another. Ah, I don't know. That looks. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that looks like a. It's a ragtag group. Bro, he's shit faced. But I bet I bet with the Lombardi they just make another one. Because the Stanley Cup, there is one cup. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, that's why I wonder if that was even like the real one. Like, there's probably one in like in like Cooperstown or uh, Canton already. Uh, Tom Brady absolutely obliterated, just blacked. That's so. Wait, go back to that, that other angle. That's funny. That's great. I think he's just throwing it to fans. That's just fans, bro. Is that, it really? Okay, you say he hides right away, like whoops, which is a classic drunk move. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. ah, fuck, maybe we shouldn't have done that one. <laughs> I mean, now, whoever caught that looked like pretty jacked. That might be a player. That's Gronk. Yeah. Oh, it's Gronk. Yeah. I mean, that is. I mean, so what do you think he was drinking? Oh, another one. Oh, oh this is. Another town angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show it to him. Hold it, kid. Whoa! <laughs> 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 that is so funny, dude. It's so as, weird as he's how carrying like, what's her name, like Abigail or something, <laughs> like just Daddy's blocked uh, out. Vivi, Vivian, Vivian, Vivian's mm -hmm. just like Daddy's hammered. <laughs> <laughs> We who all we us? all getting mouth kisses tonight. Who, who among us hasn't played with a child while they were drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I, like you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's you know let that'll be the cold open. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I meant. But actually, that is perfect leading into Am I the Asshole? That's so funny. because um, this is today today's first Am I the Asshole. Someone added us on Twitter. Um, it's again, it's more a relationship. We kind of do back and forth with these. But uh, this one is, uh, how do I, 30-year-old male, tell her, 31-year-old female, the truth about my tattoo? Mm. So basically this entire year, I've been on the Bucks brady bandwagon big time, and it's been a blast. I'm a huge Brady fan. Growing up in the GOAT state, watching the GOAT win ring after ring allowed me to grow up with the mindset of a winner. Watching Brady win has become such a huge part of my identity that in honor of him, I went out yesterday and got number 12 tattooed on my arm. This was my first tattoo. My girlfriend has always really been into tattoos and always wanted me to get one. I always told her I wasn't against it, but I wanted to wait for something that was truly meaningful, and she understood. <laughs> she has a bunch. She has a bunch, including a swallow across her rib cage. But I'm not the type of person to permanently mark my body just because I like birds. Instead, it's because I like football players. Um, I came home from the shop yesterday, and I immediately went to show her the tattoo. I prefaced the reveal by saying I finally had found something meaningful enough to me. I unwrapped it. And when she saw the big blue 12 on my arm, she began to cry about how getting a tattoo of the year we started dating is so <laughs> beautiful and romantic. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, I know where this is going. You ride it out, brother. The entire time getting the tattoo, it didn't even occur to me that 2012 was the year we started dating or that she would even make that connection. She was critical of the font, but she was moved by the sentiment. And when she asked me what the, blue, the color blue symbolized, I just told her it was the blue in her eyes, even no. though it's clearly Patriots colors. No, it's too late. No, you can't. You can't. Oh, no. I'm going to have to keep this secret for the no, rest of I mean, my life. No. But no. I don't know how, since no. I already told my friends that I was getting it yeah. done, and my and my brothers. They will definitely want to see next time we're all around together. I'll, I'll, Not to mention, the number is clearly a football jersey font that my girlfriend will figure out at really any moment now. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried because the implication is that Tom Brady... Blah, 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 blah. Too long didn't read. Girlfriend thinks number 12 I got is Honestly, the year we started dating. Straight up. No exaggeration. He has to break up with her. <laughs> this is our, Don't answer, even laugh. our answer for every Don't even laugh. Question. Don't laugh. He has to break up with this girl. <laughs> as much as I, I jokingly said you have to ride this out forever, you can't because now you have to tell everyone else. If this girl's in your life and you want to continue this lie, you have to tell everybody else. Uh, that tattoos for the year I started dating my girlfriend. You don't, you can't, you don't, you get, you don't get to tell people that it's for Tom Brady anymore. Which so now, I don't... so now you have the worst tattoo of all time. Yeah, that's true. Somebody told me that's the, first of all. Nobody like maybe if you got the apostrophe, you know, like you don't just get the the last two digits of the year. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean. Twelve. Is right. Weird. If if you had like, and it's it's weird when you when there's a new century or whatever. If you get like. Like the little apostrophe and it says 95. You know, it's like, ah, 1995. In the year 95. But like 12 is just weird. You know what I mean? When it's like low numbers like that. But my, anyway, my point is, 
You went, you wanted to get a, a, a sports tat, and you got it. Your girlfriend hijacked it, and if you want to keep up that lie, you now have to tell everybody. Yeah, I just got the girl. The the the, the year I started dating my girlfriend on there. I mean, that's awful. Or now that you've committed to the lie a little bit by saying, "Oh, I got like blue because of your eyes," you can't really like tell the truth without looking like the asshole. See, I, I think you doing, have to break up with this girl. Nope, I am doing the exact opposite. The end result will be the same. Um, but I yeah. am. <laughs> We're delaying the inevitable, yeah. but you know. But I'm intentionally delaying the inevitable because one, the day where this upcoming season is probably when it will happen. It's when the Buccaneers go to Gillette. And then Gillette's gonna have a big spectacle for him. You know, probably maybe retire his number. I don't mm -hmm. know. Wouldn't, that wouldn't be a crazy <laughs> yeah, move right? at all. Seriously. Like, uh, yeah. And um, it's gonna. Be, and then we're gonna be sitting on the couch together, and she's gonna slowly look over. And she's gonna put I'm, it I'm, I'm gonna see the, the hamster wheel spinning and yeah. the hamster putting puzzles it's pieces be together. The hangover with the the numbers like popping in Alan's yeah. head. Yeah. And she's yeah. gonna be like, wait. That's what that is. And then we're going to have a massive fight. And yeah. just, for the, just for the rest of my life, that's going to be a hilarious story. Right. Telling that, that revelation. The day that she understood. And she then she's going to dump me. And then I don't have to dump her. Okay. And that's because that's I, there fair. was some, recently someone at Barstool Sports just got broken up with. And it was uh, someone who did not want to be in a relationship anymore. And I they, they got dumped. And they were upset about this. And I was like, I don't even understand why. Like, yeah. And they and they were like, well, like, want I to wanted to be yeah, the one yeah, to end yeah, it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, fucking why? Yeah. Like, if someone who right. I wanted to break up with dumped me, I'd be like, <laughs> all good. He saves me Easy a conversation. Me. Yep, yeah, yep, see you fucking yep. later. Uh -huh. And so if I know this relationship's done, the onus is on you. I'm Matt Damon in The Departed. You're gonna leave if this ends. Like you're gonna have to be the one to leave because that is fair. I'm, that, I'm, just gonna I'm stay okay here. with that. My larger point is the same. Like this relationship has to be over. Mm -hmm. This tattoo. And her her jumping. By the way, she, I mean, she's this girl sucks. If like, like how narcissistic do you have to be to jump to that conclusion? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and how little knowledge you have to be about football? Like, like you know what? This and, woman deserves to be uh, to lose a relationship because she's been dating this man for eight years, nine years, whatever. Fuck out of here! You do math. And that's the point. She has not realized she's he's that obsessed with Tom Brady. Yes. She doesn't even remember his if you, number. If you she are know obsessed what enough football to, font looks to like. get a tattoo of. 12 for Tom Brady. You have been watching the games. You have been yelling TV 12. You have been doing that whole thing. She's been fucking bird watching the whole time. She got the sparrow. Oh, okay. Bird. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that part. I was like, I, I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that. She's been you too know busy bird you know watching what? to pay even a little bit of attention. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna paint a whole picture. This girl's cheating on him. <laughs> this girl has been fucking the neighbor. She's been fucking the super with the kidney cancer. She's so out of touch with what her boyfriend actually is into and thinking about and loves. So that she must be like preoccupied and and distracted. This this girl sucks. This relationship is terrible. She doesn't even know your likes and dislikes. She doesn't even know your loves and your passions. She thinks everything's all about her. And, and you're you're a pussy for even going along with it. And you should and, just punch her in that sparrow and leave her. <laughs> Goodbye. Stay, stay until she realizes, because that's going to be going to be awesome. It's a funny story. I, to I tell. would actually go as far to say, set up some cameras in your house. You know, get like the hidden cameras going twenty four seven, and just wait for that moment to happen. <laughs> because when you can post on the internet, like you know that moment when my girlfriend, after like two and a half years of this tattoo, realized that it wasn't for me. Tom Brady. I I, I I I would amazing. I'd induce like labor. Mm -hmm. I'd induce. I just go around walking around a Tom Brady jersey. Right, and like I make, Tom make, her, make her figure it like, out. Like, yeah. How dumb are you going to be? How much, yeah. how much sparrow watching are you doing before you realize, hey, these things fucking match perfectly. <laughs> this this guy, my favorite athlete of all time, the greatest the greatest drunk end exit ever of a Super Bowl parade. It's clearly for him, not you. Suck a bag of dicks. Uh, so how about this? So I texted um, our guy who knows Tom Brady. I said, what do you think about your boy being drunk? He says, I don't think he's drunk. Oh, come on. That's the drunkest person I've ever seen. He said, I'm in a debate. He looks hammered, but honestly, I don't think he is. I think that dude is grabbing him weird. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I just texted a couple guys on the boat asking if they're boozing. Brother, he's shit-faced. I mean, it's, it's, it's the most clear drunk. I mean, the smile... 
the way I look as a guy who's been drunk a countless uh, times. As a guy who's been like carried out of places like, like that. It is. I don't remember but, doing okay, it. But I'm okay, okay. Sure let me, I let like me that. just say this for the. Let me play devil's advocate for the sake of argument. Whatever you want to say here. If he's not drunk, whoever that dude is, touching him like that, <laughs> get the fuck off of me. <laughs> And, no, Imagine it, if me and you were just leaving the bar and I was just like, just Come still on, like Come walking. On, baby. Come <laughs> on. Like, why would anybody? He holds do that him up to all a way to the car. Person? That is, I'm gonna write back. This is the dumbest take of all time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Next up, am I the asshole? This is a doozy of an episode. We're rolling here. We got a lot. Um, okay. Am I the asshole? For applying to be the bachelor. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Probably anyway, you know. yeah. You think maybe there's a couple reasons why, but I don't know. A dude wants to be the bachelor. What's the big deal? So the other day I had nothing to do and I really uh I nothing I had really nothing to do, and I ended up pulling up the application to be the next bachelor. It was pretty pretty easy to fill out, and I've always thought it would be a great fit for a multitude of reasons. So I ended up submitting my application. I thought nothing of it. It was like signing up uh to win a car in the mail. In the mall. Well, my girlfriend, however, thinks differently. And there, there is the crucial piece of information. She heard me banging away on my keyboard as I was filing out the, as I was filling out. By the, the way, nothing worse than a loud typer. We have one who sits over by us. Trent. Uh, no, Casey, and it's infuriating. Trent, Trent, I feel like is a loud typer too, but maybe I'm just hearing Casey. Yeah, you probably are. Yeah, and I, I try and uh, manipulate her, and I always, I always like, I always just say like. Hmm, sounds like a bunch of fucking cockroaches are coming running over here like that. And then it, it, it induces her oh, trypophobia. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to keep doing that until she fucking stops typing so loud. You know what you do? Chop her hands off. <laughs> uh, cat, uh, so, I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. He just texted me. I just confirmed with everyone on that boat. He's not drunk. I would bet my mother's life on it. What? That's crazy. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Can we sense. call him? Would he talk about this? Or no? Probably not, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, that's insane. Yeah. Can, can we talk about this on the podcast or no? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, because I, I got you on speaker here. We're recording right now. You are an idiot. You're wrong. I mean, <laughs> dude, he's a drunk person. If he wasn't drunk, why would that guy be holding him? Out right now, because I, I don't, I'm not sure that's what makes it look funny. I agree yeah. he looks drunk in that, in that video, but he's not. That guy, for some reason, was like trying to steer him in some direction, and Tom what? was going along with it. Wouldn't uh, he be like, get the fuck off of me? Like, why are you? He's such a good mood. He loves Super Bowl so much. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that makes it. <laughs> this guy, he's just letting this guy. He's like, fine, I'm not gonna yell at anyone. What about like? I mean, he's got he's got one. a buzz. I, if you're trying to tell me he's not blacked out, I could probably deal with that argument. But he's got a good buzz on. Are you saying that when you text no, to those I people that they're he's, not drinking? He, he's just so happy. He's just so happy about winning the Super Bowl that he's like on cloud nine. And you still on his payroll? I was gonna say, is this? Are, are you are you back on his payroll? Is that? What, I mean, he's throwing the Lombardi Trophy. Did you see him do like the peace sign where he's carrying Vivian around? He's like looking that all. Was the video that when I saw it, I said that is not that he's not drunk because he is goofy like that. That is Tom. Yeah. Like I've seen yeah. him do that kind yeah, of shit before. That's like me if I was. Like, you got long. Legs. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> what about like in comparison when he was at like Carnival? Was he drunk then, or was he just dancing like a goofy I guy then? With him then. That was yeah. pre me. That was like six, seven years ago now. So that that was pre me. But it's all he's he's a normal guy. When I, I know it, no one believes when you say this, but like I'm not saying he's not gonna have a drink tonight. But I'm saying that right now, 4 p.m., getting off that boat, seeing those videos, I said right away, he's not that drunk. There's no way. Wow. I. Just from having my own eyeballs, would have to bet my 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 mother's life that he is drunk. No, if I didn't know it all, I would. I hear you. Yeah, I, I, I agree. But he just tweeted a video out, so let's let's watch this right now. Okay. Just a highlight video. Just a highlight video. Yeah. You can't really tell. I mean, I have to get confirmation one way or the other on this. Yeah. I must know. <laughs> but I mean, who would know better than him? You know? Like, yeah. I mean, just shoot him a text. Be like, you shit face right now? Yeah. Ask just straight up. If yeah. you're sober, you know I'll respond. Send him. him. I'm not gonna bother him. But I text the people who would know, and I can't. I. I Tech, I, I text me I back know. when you have like full confirmation. I, yeah. When, okay. You can send him a text. Like just the starting clip of um, what's the, what's the Drake song? The 
you drunk right now? Yeah. Just like <laughs> Marvin's room. <laughs> Marvin's room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me let me know. All right. All right. All right. But, I mean, that's I just can't possibly. I mean, I believe I believe. I call I do, me crazy, I, but I yeah. believe him. But also, like then. Add it to the list of like Tom Brady's just the weirdest dude <laughs> in the world. Let's guys like tickle his armpit walking off a boat. Does a weird peace sign. Just like do you goofy think he maybe thought guy. like it's just like such a crowd of people that he's just like it's other people touching me? Like these are these are just hands. Ch- I'll say something. I, uh, the only pot like normal explanation would be that he's drunk. Otherwise, there's no reason for that man to be touching him. Right. right. Goodness. All right, let's, uh, we're running late here. We're running long, so we're just going to get right into voicemails. We'll do a couple more Am I the Assholes later next week to make up for it. Voicemails today are brought to you by Simply Safe. You want to keep your, yourself, your family, your loved ones, your possessions, your house uh, safe? Simply Safe is the way to do it. I mean, when I first got a house, I, I spent so much goddamn money on it that I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, what if? What if this thing gets like, what if it burns down? What if somebody robs it? What if it just gets washed away in a flood? Guess what? <laughs> I had to deal with that quite yeah. a bit. And maybe Those are some I, of the better videos on the internet. You walk around in galoshes God. just with a fucking can you believe I sold, Can you believe I sold that thing with those videos out there? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, but had I had Simply Safe, maybe I would have had better protection against something like a flood or a fire or burglary. That's what Simply Safe does is 24-7, uh, 24/7 protection uh, from anything that can harm you, your home, and your loved ones. So... Uh, what the beauty of this is, is that it's easy to set up. It's like a modern internet version of this home security where all you got to do is uh, set up the sensors, the cameras, the alarms yourself. You don't have to have a technician come and invade your home and invade your privacy and talk to you and bother you and spread COVID. They send you the package with all the different uh, items. You set them up you know, in this corner over here and this doorway over there. Uh, it takes like a half hour to set up, and then you're good to go. You, you start you start your life uh, living in a safe, happy home. Uh, no long term commitments. It goes month to month. No gotchas. No hidden fees or loops and all that shit. Uh, it's just safe homes, safe security with the police, the fire department, and everybody else uh, monitoring your home 24 seven. And you can get right now a free uh, HD camera in addition to everything else they send you along with a 60-day risk-free trial. So you can try it for two months, nothing to risk. Go to simplysafe.com slash KFC radio. That's S-I-M-P-L-I safe.com slash KFC radio and get that free security camera today with the 60-day risk-free trial. Let's go, voicemails. What's up? Hey, KFC, Spice, uh, this is Jackie, Nick. Um, hey, KFC, uh, New England Fairweather <laughs> fan here. Um, 17, by the way. So my question is, do you think it would be more impressive if Brady got traded or not traded, but um, was a free agent and left to another team and then won a Super Bowl there, kind of like what LeBron does? Or do you think it would be more impressive if he created another dynasty in Tampa? Like, let's say he won three more. So another Tampa, dynasty like or another years. franchise? Would I would say another. Uh, more impressive? Off? I would say another franchise. Uh, uh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, obviously, we know now that Tampa Bay is a Super Bowl caliber team. And if he were to just run it back, you know, if they keep that core or maybe even add somebody, but, but they're gonna add everybody. It's, it's yeah, he right. he is like I think I think he probably Danny will Amen, have a dynasty. Yeah, I yeah. I, I would especially because I, I think we said last time the NFC South is now Jameis Winston, Matt Ryan, and Teddy Bridgewater. Like Brady's gonna run through that. The Buccaneers are gonna run through that. Give me the first seed. I mean. Uh, Aaron Rodgers says his future's up in the air. No, it's not. He's gonna stay in, in Green mm-hmm. Bay. Um, but the I think I think Tampa is now the the cream of the crop of the NFC. I think Matt uh, Mike Evans already told Bruce Arians he'll take less money. Make sure the team stays together. Adrian Peterson was on Pat McAfee's show today, being like, "I want to go down there." Mm. Not, not, don't get me wrong. Adrian Peterson doesn't really is have Edelman it. locked up in Ed, in New England. Uh, Edelman, there is a, a chance he retires and and then unretires. I was going like, like, to say that, that, that same like loophole. Um, he because Edelman did have kind of a vague text uh a vague tweet about the new england area where it's just like you've been you've meant so much to me kind of deal mm-hmm. um and then that's why on pmt i think they started the interview with him with like are you like are you ready to come out of retirement and he's mm-hmm. like what are you guys talking about right right, um, right. um but the uh yeah I, I i think it's more impressive to start another dynasty and i think he's going to and i think it was danny amendola who was on mcafee or whatever he was Wait, on you think it's more impressive to start the dynasty then, then get traded to another team and win another one? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's more impressive to start another dynasty, to win like three more in Tampa. 
I don't think so. Because of what I, I mean, because then you're just creating a new legacy. We're just like, look. That- well, no, don't get me wrong. I think it's like cooler. Uh, I'm just saying that, like, if he were to just go to another like seven and nine team and do what he just did, because like what you just said is it, it's it's cool and it, it is impressive that he is such a presence that he he's just, a like, snowball, right? He's a, right. He's a snowball he, 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 turns into an avalanche. He's like a planet with an orbit. You know, yeah. it like brings people a sun with an orbit. Um, but but I think planets have orbits too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think if he were to just go to another team that's already not like primed to win a championship and just do that, like if he could do another, if yeah, he did that's a one true. year thing again, like go to another seven and nine team, I would love to look at the standings right now and pick a team that's like right there. If he went to like, I don't know, like what were like, or like imagine if he went to like the Lions, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like go bring a championship to a team that, you know, needs it. Imagine if he went to the Jets and won a Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that would be, but like also, I think people forget the Bucks were like a quarterback away. So you'd have sure. to go to a team that's a quarterback away. True, but they, I mean, but they are, they were a seven and nine, yeah. right? I mean, they, like, yes, you're right, but, and that's it. An and they important. weren't, they weren't necessarily a quarterback away because obviously everyone who scored in the Super Bowl did not play on that team last year. Mm-hmm. Every single, right. from the right. kicker to the fucking right. tight end to the wide receiver yeah. to the running back. Yeah. None of them played on that team last year. Right. But they were, uh, people had said when Brady, when it started being like a little more, uh, a little more unknown about Brady's future, people were like, Tampa's a good destination for him because yeah, he like can, it, it's a good fit. There's a foundation at least. Right? Yeah. It was, yes, he brought in his own but like, mercenaries. So but. I'm just looking at like, what if you know if you went to the seven and nine Vikings and just won a title there, you know the eight and eight Cardinals. If he went to the Bears, the Bears actually uh, probably would work. If he went to the you know five and eleven Panthers. Like that shit to me is would yeah, be that more would be impressive. cooler. Next up, Can't oh wait, sorry. Uh, so another update, like. There's footage of him getting off the boat back on a dock, and he's, like, walking totally fine, and now the story is that he didn't have his sea legs. How long? He wasn't out there that long. So this is him, like, getting off, like, a little boat, not, like, the, the cruise ship. That's that's his boat. It's $2 million. So he's, like, and now he's just walking on a dock. Nobody holding him up. No wobbles. No falling. No nothing. Um, I don't know. I mean, like... Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty clear that, you know, he wasn't that fucking drunk. He's standing on a dock, which is harder to walk on than the ground with his sea legs and all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, fun movie fact, Johnny Depp, uh, if you watch the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, he walks straight on water. So when he's walking, people think he's, it's always he's fucked up. No, it's the sea legs. It's exactly this. Johnny Depp. You know how he walks in Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh-huh. If, he wa- if he's on a boat, he walks regular. Oh, is that he's doing that like that's like a little a little, little Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah when yeah. he's on land he walks like that, but when he's on water, when he's on a boat, he walks perfectly fine. God, Johnny Depp is so cool. <laughs> it's cra- it's just sad that he's crazy and him and his <laughs> girlfriend wanted to murder each other. Uh, all right, one more voicemail. This voicemail of the day is brought to you by Harry's. Harry's has been in this game for a while, trying to make sure that you have the closest shave possible with the most high quality products. There's something about when your toiletries and everything in your bathroom, when you got all the equipment that's high quality. This is a, a, a ergonomic razor with some good weight to it. It's got the sharp blades. It looks sharp. It is sharp. It's uh, and it's all affordable. That's what Harry's does. They've been providing a uh, comfortable shave at a a fair price for years now. It's just only $2 per refill for your razor blades. They come straight from the factory in Germany, so every step of the manufacturing process along the way is extra savings that they pass on to you. It's simple design with five sharp blades. Five blades is like next level. You you move it like once, you shave your whole face. Uh, Straight with steel from Sweden and the manufacturers in uh, Germany, it's, it's this international Shave that's going to leave you looking uh, fresher and smoother than ever. Right now, go to harrys.com slash KFC, and you can get the Harry's starter set that comes with free body wash, all for just 3 bucks. So the starter set, it comes with the razor, it comes with the uh, weighted handle, the foaming gel, the travel cover, and the travel size body travel size body wash, all for just three dollars. That's absolutely insane, man. Act fast. Supplies uh, won't be around for long because that's gonna fly off the shelves. So go to Harry's.com 
slash KFC to redeem your offer. Once again, it's a five-blade razor with the weighted handle, foaming shave gel, a travel cover, and the travel size body wash, all for just $3. That's a $16 value for just three single-dollar bills. Harrys.com slash KFC. KFC fights, Jackie and the rest of the boys. Just wanted to give a quick shout-out to KFC. That's some of the best content you've ever produced with Barstool, Surviving Barstool. Absolutely love it. Please make a season two. Fights, quick little sidebar for you. Kind of thought Brianna looked like that one uh, fraternity formal date that looked like she'd fuck up someone of the rest of the dates there. Uh, thought you might enjoy that. Any case, uh, top five for you, boys. Um, what is? I know Sad Boy season's over with. Not yet. What are the top five songs or albums that you would describe the last ten years of your life? They could be either mm. uh, what whatever you want, but they can't be from the same album or whatever. I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts, and Viva. Okay. I don't know what that sidebar about you was. I had no idea. I couldn't even Rihanna up looked like a... About us. Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh, Chicken Fry looked like a, a uh, prom date? A sorority girl or something? A sorority formal? But what did that have to do with you? I don't know. Did, did you have... Anyway. I have the New Orleans story, but I, that involved a, a sorority girl from Brazil. Whatever. Whatever. Um... That's a good question. I don't know if I, I can think of it on the spot. Was it the last? The top? last, like, the, like, um, the, I'm just gonna say like one album. I think he's in the top fives or whatever. But like the the music that describes the last uh, ten years of your life. Yeah, let's call it five though. Ten's a long time. I mean, ten's like, you know, that's like my entire time at Barstool. Um, um, last five years of my life. So I'm thinking about like, like. The albums I listen to the most, but it's not that. No, it's, it's the, the album that music that like describes your life the most. God um, damn it, that's fucking really hard. Um, I need an album. I mean, Jason Isbell, Isbell. Um, that's like was it northeastern, northeaster. Um, I forget what the name of it is, but I mean that one's definitely up there. Um, I need an album that is just like absolute catastrophic train wreck the last the last five years of your life yeah. yeah what's what's pink's one pink has pink what's the one with pink where it's like uh uh fuck i forget I, like, the, it's just you in your hand <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care for your right hand it's just you in your hands and i don't care you were much better at singing Han uh, hannah montana <laughs> You know, I can break uh, uh, someone's speakers. Uh, no! <laughs> Tig Tig Tigger's gone on long enough. You can actually enough. go really hard. Yeah. yeah. That, that yeah. was probably thoroughly not enjoyable for the listener. <laughs> oh, my God! I <laughs> That's the cold open. <laughs> I, need, uh, I need, like, an album that is not even, like, the music. I need it, like, um, oh, I know, like, I, um... One of like Eminem's like bad albums when he was like <laughs> on drugs and fucked up and like losing his kid like all that shit. I don't. I don't need the music to be the way. I need like the the artist to have been a train wreck. Ah, know? okay. Or like um, it's gotta be like some some other artist who was like uh, there's more like 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 Britney like a Britney album when she was going crazy sort of thing. Or like uh, who's an artist who's just a wreck. Eminem, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, one, right? well, actually, it's all of them. Yeah, it's usually, usually everybody has like an album or they two were, that's like, oh, that was our, that was my bad phase. They're my all bad like, time. I don't remember recording that album. Yeah, yeah, I think he does <laughs> say that about uh, relapse, which I think would make sense. Yep. Um, yeah, that would be it for me. I uh, I also have Counting Crows, uh, August and Everything After. I always have that on every album list ever. It's one of the best albums of all time. Maybe the best album of all time. You think that describes your life? Yeah, but I don't fucking like. What do you mean describes my life? I don't, I don't know what I've done in the last five years. Yeah, you're like, I have a pretty, fucking clue. Pretty, it's pretty, like, you know, it's just, just pretty level. Every so. single day, it's the same day. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it, is. It, it is. is. It is. You have not, like, you've had, like, you know, new relationships, new apartment, but, like, I don't know. It's all the same. Same shit. It's all the same. Yeah. It, it's, it's, just, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> it doesn't, it just doesn't. Like, there's no way life changes this little. It's fucking insane. Like there's just like I, I love it. I don't know what's fucking Eiffel Tower. The I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die. If I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would die. Da ba dee da ba die. No idea how that describes my life, but that song it just absolutely thumps popped into my head. Do you think it was? Uh, did you actually think it was I'm green, or did you just go with the da ba dee? You know, 
Uh, no, I said I'm green. Is it not I'm green? I think it's I'm green, but people think it's I'm. If I was blue, I would die, and I think it's just dabba dee dabba die. I'm blue. If I was green, I was. Sorry. I mean, this album or this song, three hundred and fifteen. This guy, three hundred and fifteen million streams on that. The next one's at eight. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talking about a one fucking hit wonder. The uh, that song and uh, Chumbawamba Thub Thumper was the uh, really the the peak of nonsense music. <laughs> <laughs> the, just, like, can you imagine being like a you know just like a, words like that don't a mean poet anything. type of like writer, you know, like a lyricist, and then that that goes fucking viral. Like, oh my god! I mean, the Beatles did it too. A booby da, da be di, obla di, obla ga, obla I don't know. I haven't heard the song. I don't even know that song. I don't know. Obla di, obla da, something like that. Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah, obla di, obla da. Yeah, yeah, that song sucks. Fuck the Beatles. All right, that's it. See you next week. Listen, if you made it this far into the video, which is far, like no one ever does that on the internet. Like it's the end. You made it to the end the of the video. The full fucking video you, you watched did. the whole thing. So if you liked it and you watched the whole thing, why don't you subscribe? It means you like us. Click the subscribe button cuz if you don't, I'm going to fucking murder John and I'm going to like it. Kill him with my bare fucking hands. Yeah. And if you weren't sold on this video, there's plenty more. Watch what's next up and then subscribe. But just subscribe so I don't have to fucking kill him. Sub well, I don't know. Do what you want, but subscribe. Probably. <laughs> <laughs>